Hi everyone, I'm Max from the Max Team and I'm with Ken Apesh from Restart Esport. How are you? Hey guys, I'm fine, thank you. What about you? Fine, and you were you weren't here uh, last week, so I, I was so sad. But now you're here, and I have um, a surprise that you will be there for the final of this Max League of Nations. It's yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> a huge announcement <laughs> right now and for now we are uh, we are on the last round of the the group stage of this uh, max league of nations with this uh, great <laughs> great match czech republic versus denmark <laughs> involving fairly crane su 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 alf evil for the one who knows who know uh, you know that Uh, I didn't know the reference, but yeah, 666 three, <laughs> three, makes sense. And yeah, uh, yeah. 668, Alf Evil. Uh, Norway's uh, versus Oge, uh, Yala versus Furry Hunter. And now we'll have the, the ranking of this Group A. It's amazing. Turkey is now qualified for the playoffs because um, of their four victories on four matches. And uh, then we, we have Denmark. Greece, Czech Republic at 2-2, and then Netherlands and Slovakia uh, that um, are uh, disqualified, not disqualified, but um, uh, not uh, able to qualify for the, um, the playoffs. And uh, we have this match, Denmark versus Czech Republic, now to reach the playoffs. It will be really, really interesting right now for the qualification. Uh, do you have a um, uh, preference or uh, um, prognosis, maybe? Uh, I'll tell you the same thing as usual. I have no clue because everything is possible. But um, I, I would say, though, that I am very curious to see how Denmark performs tonight because I know um, it's full of good players, right? Uh, you've yeah. got Fury Hunter, Hoy. Uh, Crane, who we, we, we know are usually very strong players, and I'm also really, like, Hoy is a player who I, I never see that much in uh, big tournaments, but whenever I see him, I see him perform very well, like in Open Cups, for example. So, uh, I think he might give us a bit of a surprise again tonight. Yeah, and um, you have to remember that Denmark is the current uh, European champion because the last AGG uh, final was Denmark versus uh, United Kingdom and Denmark won with Surrender, Be Quiet and uh, Oj, I guess. Yeah, I guess it, uh, it was I would Oj. say Hoy, but yeah, maybe you must, must have been him. Uh, so uh, very uh, good, uh, good players. And uh, we'll see the lineups right now. So it's not the same display as usual because ATS uh, don't work, doesn't work tonight. And uh, we'll take this um, uh, this new uh, site from Donkey um, uh, now this uh, this evening and for the the, um, the other streams from now. So Crane three three is coming with a priest, a mage, and a rogue. If you like rogues, you won't be very happy tonight because every rogue has been uh, banned. It's, uh, it's, it's weird, but um, sometimes it's every priest, but now it's every rogue. And the mages uh, has, um, have not been banned, but uh, we... Uh, I was surprised to uh, to to learn that because uh, everyone is waiting for the nerf of encounters flow, and then uh, no uh, no ban for mage. Yeah, I think the explanation is uh, the best two decks at the moment, or I mean, what basically most people have settled on is mage and priest, and it turns out that rogue is insanely good against both of these decks. So if you bring, if you want to play Mage and Priest in King of the Hill, um, last year standing, no matter how you call it, uh, you have to ban Rogue, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, this priest is the, the giant, the giant priest with uh, the raised dead, and uh, he doesn't play the 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 six six. Or yeah, I I guess it's six six for for six. The yeah, elemental. The elemental. Okay. Um, okay, and uh, Nizera, 
why not? Okay, it's um, like a, a mix of the, the two versions of Priest, the control version uh, with um, Ktoon sometimes, and mm -hmm. uh, and the giant, uh, the giant one. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Basically, like y you have giants in Priest every now and then, or mm -hmm. it used to be like something you could see, especially in the beginning of the of the expansion, and recently. Meaty and Zerios have made uh, this very deck list very popular, and now everyone is playing it. Yeah, yeah, we um, we seen uh, many many tweets from um, Meaty uh, yesterday and today with a uh, uh, priest list. If you are, if you want to uh, to check, um, so now we have the lineup from Fairy Fairy Czech Republic, and. Uh, is bringing a mage, a rogue, and a warlock. Okay. Hey, what was that? <laughs> it was on the side? Okay, the next uh, what, what, what was on the side? Oh, it's on your screen. Uh, it's on my screen? What is it? Yeah, you, you said something was on the side. Is it something on your screen, or no, are no, you talking no. about the lineups? No, no. It, it, uh, there was um, uh, a, a noise. Uh, mm. uh, okay, so I thought it was... Uh, from your computers because uh, I have no noise here. Okay, yeah. so this uh, fighty lineup with the mage, a rogue, and uh, we didn't t talk about um, the um, the priest, uh, the mage. Okay, it's um, as you as you see, um, spell mage, as usual, and then here a spell mage two with the deck of lunacy. And uh, this warlock is a uh, high charge one with uh, uh, Ticatus and okay, two void drinkers. Uh, not the played uh, that much. Okay, no, nothing more fancy, I guess. There is a little, a little something. Uh, they have two copies of Siphon Soul, which yeah. very often you see played as a one off. Yes. Um, it could be. It could be here because of Paladin, it could be here because of uh, how this deck can sometimes struggle in the mid game, uh, mm. especially on turn five with all of the buffs that exist right now. So yeah, they, they decided to go with double Siphon Soul and hope it works. Okay, okay, interesting. And it works fine with uh, Temps in Rome yeah. too. Okay, so I guess we can now check this with the players. We have Crane at the top of your <laughs> at the top of your screen we have uh, fady at the bottom of the screen as you know uh, you can use the command uh, exclamation mark button to cheer for uh, czech republic exclamation mark top to cheer for the um, for denmark okay so now i can give the go uh, okay crane is here i can give the go to the players to start the first BO, we are in uh, BO3 LHS format. It's okay. You can start. Good luck. Okay, then Filey. Why is it? Okay. Browsing the collection. Okay. So the bands are rogues. And Corbius006 on the chat says something then and cannot uh, uh, read because it's in check. We need a minute, no problem. Fidey says, say, we need a minute. So the, the, <laughs> the usual question at the start of the, the bio, which class uh, would you start with on both sides? And I know you will tell me mage, because every time it's mage. What do you think? Yeah, I would say mage. <laughs> um, the thing is, warlock doesn't work that well against mage, and priest is pretty decent. But the the, the very I think the difference maker in the match is going to be warlock versus priest, which is extremely polarized in favor of the warlock. So if they can keep it for the end and hope to sneak a win with well, the mage before mm. that, um, that would make a lot of sense. Okay, get it. So, uh, no, it's not Captain Kitty, it's C Crane. Crane is eating into play. Hey, did you see that the um, uh, the friend list is still uh, unfixed? 
So we, we know that we are in Hearthstone when you see your, the friend list uh, bugging. Because if not, uh, oh, Crane uh, uh, just disappeared. Okay, hope you will. Uh, they can still make it, I think. <laughs> Uh, yeah, did that, you? That, okay, yeah, did you translate I, I had to Google it. <laughs> yeah, 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 I had to. <laughs> okay, it's for the qualification, I guess? Yeah, he wanted to know if the Czech uh, won the last time they played and uh, if they still had a chance to make it to the playoffs. Yeah, if they um, um, if they win tonight, there is a chance. It's not uh, a di uh, direct, 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 I guess. Direct. Direct. Direct yep. qualification because uh, they have to um, to wait for the um, the match of the of Greece, but it's uh, you cannot uh, qualify without winning tonight. Okay, so Crane three 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 is hanging out in main menu, and finally as well. So everything is okay. We have both players uh, on cam. Some are more well. Oh, uh, cadre fitted. Uh, what is it? <laughs> what are you trying to say? Uh, comment ils sont bien cadrés au niveau de la caméra. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. Uh, yeah. No, mate. Uh, it's, it's not something uh, we say. We say. Yeah, you know, in English. So Crane say, mm -hmm. okay, I don't see if uh, Freddy online. Even is online. I think it's a friending bug. Okay, I go to the. Okay. Okay. Uh, you'll tell me if it's still not working because we have issues with uh, the friend list but, but uh, the players have two because they cannot see each other and it will be very difficult if they cannot see each other so it just um, uh, did it deleted him from his friend list and just um, add it another time and uh, right now I have dead draw and Felcane at rank 9 uh, legend at the same time and furry enter 2 and good out 2 I love uh, blizzard uh, developers and uh, GR post on chat says hello so hello to Okay, will it work? I'm not sure. But well, um, let's hope it works. That you know, yeah, so yeah. that's the wonder. That's the wonderful thing about playing and doing things live. It's sometimes uh -huh. you're gonna have a little bit of an issue. Now, if yeah. you play Hearthstone, it's even better because you have even <laughs> more issues more often. And this is just great. You know, we're we're here but sitting every, talking. Yeah, every time uh, we um, we just managed to. Uh, to fix the issue and get um, the matches so let's uh, let's wait and it will work sometimes not yeah, okay. don't know uh, when but sometimes okay hanging out if um where is um uh, wait finally um can you see crane connected Okay, just uh, want to know. Oh, Crane just uh, okay. It just uh, disconnected uh, one once more. Okay, I'm gonna give. Okay, not yet. Uh, I had some friendly trouble. Okay, you'll tell me. I to find him on other servers and delete him. Okay, okay. So it's on its way. Um, uh, maybe uh, I can uh, just um, uh, get back to uh, get back there. Where are we? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. So, you may know that uh, we are organize um, the Max Open Cup seven seven right now. For the uh, it's um, the registration are open and uh, it's starting um, on uh, June sixth, I guess. And you can register register right now. You just have to um, use this command exclamation mark tournament and you'll get all the information about that. There will be um, 500, 500 yeah, euros 
uh, as cash prize and you can win a slot in the Max League 5 that will occur on uh, autumn. Um, do you prefer uh, autumn or fall for autumn? Uh, I, I think I would say fall because that's what I'm the most used to, but autumn is is very relatable as well, so I don't mind any. Okay. Yeah, I've always um, uh, find uh, this um, uh, interesting to have two worlds to qualify the same uh, the same season, but uh, why not? Uh, salut, uh, is your auditore. Uh, so just. Um, uh, focus on this Max Open Cup 7. Uh, you may uh, register right, right now. We will have a very interesting guests with Canapesh, <laughs> the first one, and many others as uh, great grandmasters from all around the world, like Lang Language Acre, uh, Wama, uh, we have uh, Gabi, not uh, grandmaster yet, but uh, in the future. Uh, we'll have um, uh, many great uh, female players, uh, the teacher, uh, Portuguese one, uh, Evelyn, Gre uh, Gre Greek, Greek one, yep. um, uh, Baby Bear, uh, Belgium, Belgian one, and uh, um, Naisil, uh, Brazilian one. Um, Yala and uh, Furianter, many, many good, great uh, European players. So if you want to fight them in uh, a Swiss round a tournament, you can register for the Max Open Cup set. Uh, seven, sorry. <laughs> yeah, and if you didn't notice already, Faley and Crane are preparing to battle, finally. That's great, great. Yeah, okay. it's great. Great. You can go. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we're back here. Yeah. Okay. Where are the crane preparing to battle a friend and <laughs> is uh, also a nine legend? Why not? Because everything is uh, nine. Everyone is nine legend. So why not him? Okay, and still blinking. I don't know if uh, it's the same uh, on the side, but uh, it's blinking. Ling, 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 ling. From this, it's like a, a Christmas light, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this friend list is very much like an end turn from Hanar. It's it's a Christmas tree. There's tons of lights and, <laughs> and things shining everywhere. But you know, at the end of the day, you see the names of people, you can click them and try to figure out who really is rank nine legend. Yeah, yeah. Are, and for now, it appears to be Dead Draw. Oh, it was now six, by the way. Uh, yeah, Dead Draw six. Doing battle with a friend from Crane and uh, Fidey doing battle with a friend. Okay, starting right now, Fidey at the bottom of the screen for Czech Republic. Exclamation mark bottom to cheer him. Lazur. We love Priest. And crane two. Okay, we have both ends, so the the evening is safe right now. Yeah, I, I have to reconnect though because I can't spectate anyone, but I'll be there soon. Okay, so it's warlock for um, for Czech Republic and priest for crane and Denmark. Oh, it's warlock versus priest already. Yeah. Oh, and uh, we, we were waiting for mage, uh, mage on mage, but no. <laughs> okay, interesting end uh, for for the priest with the two um, uh, two copies of uh, Draconic studies. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got Feely. Okay, and this is green. All right. Okay, I, I have a result. From the group B, France just lost to Sweden, uh, two one, and I have to check uh, after that uh, who will qualify. But it will be um, very um, uh, close. But now we're on this match, and yep. uh, not a really good end for the the um, the warlock and. Do you think that Warlock is 
Um, above, that's it. No, not above. Uh, devant. Favorite. Ahead. Yeah, I, I think uh, Warlock is very, 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 very favorite against the priest. So much so, in fact, that if you're a priest and you play Draconic Studies, you may have to pick Brightwing and hope to find a prime. And guess what just happened? We found a prime. <laughs> yeah. But um, is um, the Warlock is a head just because of Ticatis, but on uh, priest side, you have uh, uh, Idusha. That's it. Um, uh, actually, you could steal Ticatus on turn 9 and make sure that your opponent does not get to play Ticatus another time using Yashraj. Hmm. So there's only 5 cards difference and, you know, Warlock life taps and everything. So sometimes there's not that much of a differential between between the two players. But the issue is, Jaraxxus summons a 6-6 every turn, hmm. which even for a priest yeah. can be very, very oppressive. Okay. Okay, and... Uh... The chat is using the the bottom command. <laughs> I'm gonna let the the Denmark know about the top command. Yes, interesting development here from the priest side. Uh, they play Zigzor. Hopefully, uh, they are gonna find raise dead very fast, so they can have more primes in their deck and make it. Uh, like make their deck bigger and bigger as much as they can, so Ticketus is less of a problem. And one of the advantages of Zigzor as well is it summons waves of minions by itself, meaning that you could try to contest the pressure that Jaraxxus is going to put on you in the late game. You see there is a raise dead right here, ready to be used on Zigzor, for example, at any point. And Warlock, not much to be afraid of for now. They have Jaraxxus, they have Yashraj. It's only really Ticketus that's missing. Yeah. Oh, Shadow Form. Okay, so if they want to be very aggressive right now, they can choose Shadow Form and um, sort of double on, on the damage that Warlock inflicts themselves every turn. By. It's kind of like playing Hunter at this point if they pick Shadow Farm. They're going for Insight instead, which I imagine is going to help them find Elucia faster and cheaper. Uh, but the rest doesn't look that great. And uh, <clears throat> uh, um, uh, I assume that uh, everyone is waiting for, for incoming nerves. Uh, we don't have uh, any information about the cards that will be uh, involved in these nerfs and buffs but do you think that uh, palm reading will be um, will be touched by uh, by the nerfs because it's very uh, that uh, very pow powerful it could be palm reading it could be uh hysteria it could be both but mm. yeah i, I think if something's going to get hit by a nerf uh it's probably one of those two cards and mm. I, I don't know about you, but I can't wait for Tiny Finn to be nerfed. Because they said <laughs> there was going to be a neutral Murloc. Yeah. And we all know it's Tiny Finn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we all wait. It's, uh, it's him. <laughs> it will be very disappointed. It, uh, it's another one. Oh, no. It's the one for it that kills everybody on turn <laughs> three. Jesus. Okay, okay. so another... This. Yeah, another Ooh. development turn here. And... Oh. Proto Drake. Oh. Proto Drake is cool. What do you think about Death Swing, the Destroyer? 12 uh, 12 for the late game? That uh, the, um, uh, delete the board? Erase the uh, board? Yeah, it, it destroys everything uh, that's on its way. But, you know, I, I think the right question, Max, is do you want one minion or two minions? Yeah, yeah, I guess. I guess two is better, and uh, you can play it um, uh, earlier. But it's a uh, uh, an EOE as well. Oh, is it uh, <laughs> another Zixo? Yes, it's, it's they only one. have two minions going. Okay, so let's is go. It, Fill the deck with primes. Is it the uh, non top priest? I don't know the the class yet. Oh man, if they had picked Shadow Form. With Zigzors in their deck and a hero power that deals two damage every turn, I would definitely have said it was a Hunter Priest. <laughs> okay, so the Void Drinker. Drinker. 
good. Because I, I had the German as first um, uh, first language in the college, uh, but no, college is not college, I guess, in the, in English. No, it's it's, elem it's middle school. Middle school. Thanks. Yeah. So, drinker. Okay, Ilusia, yeah. but uh, hmm. Okay. Do you think he, uh, he'll, I, he will have time to uh, to steal these tickets before it's um, uh, corrupted? No, definitely not, because Thaley has the option to play Militia as soon as the next turn, and mm. if he doesn't want to do it next turn, since he has the coin, uh, he's guaranteed to be able to wait for an additional turn, because Crane cannot go like... Coin one mana Elusha six minutes. You mm. get this on his following turn. Yeah, uh, he's going to devil up. Uh, I, I think it's quite an interesting move because he could have tried to clear the void drinker instead and kept the the mm -hmm. board presence for later. Uh, I assume he understands here that he's very exposed to um, developing turns on Faley's side, and Faley is now the one who has to defend himself, even though he's got a six, a seven, eight with taunt on the board. Hmm, it's interesting. You have a, a good um, uh, a good trade here, but uh, the the cascading disaster does it very well. But do you want to keep these ca cascading disasters for the um, the the other giants that will be played later because of the race day? Yeah. I think here, Faley has to think about potential Zigzor late game plans, scenarios that Crane is going to have uh, moving forward and may want to try and have fully maximized corrupted cascading disasters to clear three minions instead of two. Turns out, not a big problem. Um, Crane had taken the aggressive option of contesting the Void Drinker and since it's gone, um, I mean, since the board is gone, everything has yet to be done again, meaning that this Void Drinker is sticking and Crane is in more trouble. Is it a bug in the, in the Matrix? Because we've seen two, um, two Hunter uh, Primes and uh, it's uh, the second Bright Ring as well? Uh, it's from Raised Dead. Okay, okay. Okay. And I assume that, this that, one's going to give Solarians. <laughs> no, it's a, or a Ticketus. No, a third, um, a third um, Primus, I guess. No, um, uh, the Hunter one. Big. Okay, yeah, another so, one because you have you need some variation, you know. <laughs> Plagued Proto Drake. It's here to contest this seven eight. Okay. And it's interesting too on race dead. So why not? How many? Oh, there's no uh, no soul, and uh, uh, no uh, soul fragment in the deck. So militia is not that interesting right now. But it could have been cool to corrupt the strong man, but it won't be. I guess you um you keep the um, the coin to Jarexis uh, next turn. But what will it be? I mean, it's it's something that could be done. The problem is Ticketus is not corrupted yet, so... Yeah, never mind. I was going to suggest that uh, Faley could play around one mana Elusha into Ticketus on the following turn, but it could have happened now, right? Mm. So I, I think there's no fear of losing your Ticketus this turn or the following turn, and dropping the Militia is an option. You don't have any fragments in your deck, but it's okay. You're not trying to capitalize on 3-3 three, three minions, right? You're trying to make the most out of your resources, and the coin is... Well, I think it's the best resource right now, because he could play Jaraxxus as soon as next turn, play the Muscle Man, and then uh, very soon after, he's gonna have billions of removal with Yashraj, many taunts with Strongman, and also corrupted Ticketus, which he's going to be able to play twice. This is basically the dream hand if you're Warlock right now. We have um, a 
an issue with uh, Fairy who is uh, trying to reconnect with who we've lost his uh, camera too but everything's okay it will reconnect soon and I can give you uh, information about um, the qualification on the group D we have Ukraine and Germany that has been have been qualified for the top eight playoffs uh, yesterday uh, with a 4-1 on this um, on this group stage and Croatia has been eliminated with um, a 4-1 as well uh, because of the the head-to-head um, -head tiebreaker with uh, Germany and Ukraine okay we're back so it is there okay he's back so okay at the scene and uh, we'll have okay we have finally back on screen too yes and he played coin twisting nether allowing okay. him to play uh both strongman this turn and also making sure that crane's not going to be able to copy the proto drake with gift of luminance psyche split or any fancy thing hmm. that he could have found from a set deck uh, Vel Weaver, for example. Okay, interesting. But uh, this uh, seven drop is not uh, uh, a really good one. This uh, umbral owl with rush, not that good. Talk about gift of luminance. Look what he has the option to pick now. Uh, it's not uh, that interesting. Maybe uh, the power, power infusion maybe for this uh, scorpion to avoid him to to die on uh, uh, either a strongman you could try to stick a board that is going to be resilient to um, damage removal such as skull spirits but i think gift of luminance is just the best option because if you want to have more primes in your deck more um Proto Drake minions. Okay. Uh, it's usually better and it works. It's also more efficient against the likes of Twisting Nether and Corrupted Disaster, which we know can be played over and over in this matchup, especially yeah. from now on. Ticketis. Ticketis that uh, Be Quiet, our, our competitive Aston player, calls Chikatakus. <laughs> it's even more evil that way. Chikatakus. I love that. Why? This is so rude. <laughs> it, it, it looks like it, it makes it sound like it's a dinosaur or something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, what is it? The Prime! It's not that bad to, uh, to deal with this uh, Chikatakatakus. <laughs> yeah. Chikatakus. Rah! Yeah. yeah, you've seen worse <laughs> draws, right? Um, he could try to play Brightwing, though. Like, where are your extra primes? Find the Solarians, throw fireballs in your opponent's face, and win the game. I think that was the plan from the beginning. <laughs> no. And you're oh. almost 100 now on the stream. Thank you, guys. Really, really nice from you to, uh, to be here with us for this final uh, round of the group stage the max league of nations for the qualification for the top eight playoffs only the two first nations of each group will be involved what did you think about the trades last turn from crane he had to send two minions to get rid of one uh, and I now like he's the... exposed yeah. I, I like it because this um, you have to um, to imagine that's uh, the the prime the Zixo prime or Dix, no, Zixo Zixo prime um, is not from your deck so it's um, uh, um, I get it as a bonus and uh, if you can deal with uh, this ticket is with uh, a card that's not been uh, played from your deck. I guess it's not a um, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I understand the the value kind of balance that you're suggesting. I, I was just a bit I, I don't know. I, I thought it, the way he did it, he made himself more susceptible to a clear with cascading disaster. 
But, you know, maybe overall, having a defensive stance right now is the best option, because this way he avoids 8 damage, and he has more time to find a new wing condition. Because, again, there is a bright wing in this hand, and we all know it can do crazy things. And? Is it gonna bright be Bright wing! Bright wing! Bright wing! What Give us primes! It will be Talnos! Talnos! No, I it's Salarian. It and no. Talnos! Tal Keyword and Ivory. Yeah, it's almost the same. Yeah, yeah, because uh, <laughs> they, they have hats, uh, both of them. Exactly. Wait, no, he doesn't have a hat. <laughs> <laughs> but he could have. Hi, guys. Uh, thanks, Orange, for the raid. And hi, uh, Swedish, Swedish guys. Ooh. And all the Swedish guys. And thank you. Okay. So I had I've had no uh, no notification uh, that's uh, that's on me. Okay. So another Ticatacatus. Click clack. As I said, uh, it's a really really bad matchup for this uh, this priest. Do you think that the the wall Bo3 is already played because of the the choice of the um, the, the the class to uh, to start? Uh, no, because I think um, Denmark can still win 2-0 as the mage. Like, they can beat Warlock, and they can win the mirror match that comes after, so I wouldn't be surprised if it happened. Um, yeah, looking at Faley's hand, and looking at the way this has all happened, even though Crane has had a wonderful <laughs> amount of options, uh, to try and do things that could potentially win him the game. Um, Faley's hand really is the dream hand in a dream matchup, and I would be very, very surprised if he somehow managed to lose this game. But there is this Key Warden Ivory. I know there will be something magic because it's a mage card. Um, Donkey um, asking if Greece did play yet. No, not yet. Not yet. Because we have to wait for the, the result of Greece to know if uh, Denmark or Czech Republic, the winner, will be, <laughs> uh, will be qualified or not. Okay, so Crane choosing to go defense mode again um, understands that he needs time to find to find his things that might win him the game. Um, not sure exactly what you hope right now. Like, is it Raise Dad giving you more RNG options? Is there any outcome on Ivory that could somehow get you out of this uh, situation? Not sure exactly. Um, anyway, Draxus is going to be played, threatening to win the game yet again. I guess one of the hopes for Denmark here was that it was the bottom card in the Warlocks deck. Um, now this is another hope that's gone, unfortunately. Oh, we uh, we lost, um, I guess, uh, Faili another time. Okay, so I'm gonna check it. We lost uh, the, his, uh, his camera, so uh, I guess uh, he has connection issues. Be true. Or shall I destroy you by disconnection? Hey, this could be the way that you win the matchup as priest. Yeah, yeah, with a huge uh, disconnection or uh, a nuclear bomb, <laughs> something like that. Uh, Godzilla. Ah, uh, I, I, I saw, I saw um, the um, the movie um, uh, Godzilla versus Kong. It was not that uh, that great. You mean great? It was great. It was uh, between great and great. It's my way to uh, to say that. Great. Okay, it was not great, <laughs> but it was kind of great. Okay, I think we're, we're getting somewhere now. It's a greedy great. <laughs> it's a greedy great. Okay, a greedy great. I understand what you do here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and what about your dog? What about my dog? Oh, he's asleep. You know, he is 15 years old. 
Oh, okay. He's a veteran. So he's, he's just uh, dying. No. <laughs> Because it's uh, very old for uh, uh, those kind of uh, dogs. <laughs> This is mean what you're doing here. He's in perfect health. Uh, you've said, I, I've you've, been to last yeah? time you've said that uh, you you will show show it uh, on uh, on stream. Uh, I hope uh, that we'll have this opportunity uh, almost for the um, the final. Maybe I'm not sure because you don't deserve it. He, not me, but no, but okay. the chat does. His time is precious. Maybe for chat, I would do it for the finals. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay, we're back in this game, apparently. Faley has the option to play the last copy of Strongman of the game. Uh, it would expose him to Hysteria, so I like keeping it for now. And Crane knows Draxus was not the bottom card from the deck. Far from it. <laughs> and has yet to find a way to win this game. So what is it now? Oh, do you think uh, there is something is in this uh, keyword in ivory that could uh, be useful? I don't know, oh, but you know you... that there is a zero mana strongman in the hand, so yeah, Lucia must be the play. Okay, um, I was wondering about um, keyword in ivory and uh, gift of uh, luminance to uh, double activate the um, the spell burst. Oh. That could have been an idea. I don't know if you would get the same card again, though. I, I guess. Be the case. I guess you get you get the spell burst. The the second uh, card won't have the spell burst used yet, but mm -hmm. not not very sure about that. Is tier one sub enough to join? Yes. Sure. Pri um, Twitch Prime. Is fine too. And now Faley knows. Um, he knows what Crane might have been cooking up for him. Uh, he has the option to play Raise Dead to make sure there's no more RNG for Crane to try and find a way out. You know, he can play Ivory as well. Mm. Um, not looking good at all. Hmm. Hysteria. Is it a way you can? Oh, is it uh, Augromancer into Gift of uh, Luminance? It's eight, uh, and, then, and then uh, the hero power, because uh, it's fine. There, there is a funny play he could do here, which is Gift of Luminance on uh, Tamsin, and play the spells, because two of them are shadow spells. Uh, oh. He's going to be able to play them twice, but then he does not remove any of the RNG. But from it's Crane's fun. Deck. And when it's fun, we like it. True. Okay, he goes for the more tempo heavy play, which well, interesting. is understandable. But I would have liked to see this raise that. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe um, ticket this was a problem. Not sure, but you, you don't want to, to take the damage for the the opponent and then uh, give uh, him the, the cards. Uh, yeah, but this way you make sure that he doesn't get more uh, Primes, for example, or Bright Wings or Proto Drakes. You see that the hand is quite reactive, so even though the hand is bigger, it's not that impactful on the game for now. Uh, the Prime, though, could mean trouble for Faley, because Faley's basically out of removal for now. There's no draw hero power anymore, so this could be the time Crane which is the pressure, swaps the pressure, What do the cards flips the table. I don't know. Okay, so the prime is going to be played in... Oh, wait! Because if he clears two of his primes and plays Raise Dead, he could have more primes from them. And I mean fully-fledged Zigzor primes that summon three copies of itself. Yeah. So this could mean a ton of four fours. Okay, it's not uh, trading because you don't want to use uh, all that four fours in the um, the what define divine shield. How many fragments are two? Not that great, <laughs> but you can you can add um, uh, two more with this uh, lucky soul holder. Mm -hmm. But maybe you want the draw, right? 
Yeah. There, there is what? like a middle line here where what? he plays Siphon Soul and then Hoarder and Hero Power. Yeah, but you know that um, the the priest is slowly dying, so in not it's not really uh, really useful to. Okay, he, uh, okay, is destroying a soul fragment and then putting two more, two more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it looks good. Like this is the most board centric play he has available. Does not remove any of the draw potential because he does get the draw off of the hoarder, which means he does allow himself more outs uh, in the next few turns. I think this is quite good. I'm not sure about how this works with Hysteria though. Uh, like double trade Hysteria on the 6-6. Six, six. Mm -hmm. Looks like a board clear. Okay. With no... Okay, okay. Oh, uh, interesting. Well, interesting uh, move, yeah. Good hysteria, yeah. <laughs> and still this um, uh, <laughs> this uh, keyword in ivory that I, I cannot see anymore because um, of the game. Okay, it's, uh, it's uh, displaying keyword in ivory in end. That could be um, a spell busted with um, the raised dead. I guess in the raised dead there is many uh, Zixo primes too. Is it is it not Ogamenser though? Like I, I could see raise dead Ogamenser hero power. Maybe take one trade. Ha! Huh. It's the only spell. So how um, I, I I would no because I, this, Ivory uh, gives you another Ivory. spell, right? Ivory yes, but you, you don't know um, the cost. Maybe it's too um, um, it's too expensive to uh, to play the same turn and to activate the. The spell burst before it dies. Yeah, true. True, true, true. Though I like how Ogamenser really is a problem right now. Because look at Faley's hand. There's not much he can do about it. He could play mm. Siphon Soul, but then it wastes a lot of his turn. But here you can see, if Faley presses the hero power again, a 6-6 six, six is already enough to deal with all of the primes remaining from the board, so... Mm. Yeah, there is a small window of opportunity with the primes, but it's not that much more than that. It's actually quite a small window. He doesn't like to use this uh, militia with a uh, lucky soul order, I guess. Yeah. Okay. This is... Yeah, I, I think it's okay. quite strange, too. Okay, so I won't use it because he wants to eat this hero power button. Yeah, this is an absolute necessity. I think here the reasoning was you want to clear everything because your opponent's got only two cards left in their deck. So okay. removing anything that comes on the board is basically is basically putting Crane closer to ultimate fatigue, where, where there is no deck, no hand, no board. No, uh, but you, you forgot something. If you add on your desktop a button that when you tap it just shout inferno you you will use it all the day you know yep so you, i guess uh, i i like it i like two mana inferno inferno it's cool <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it <laughs> this is true and look at this yashraj it was put in crane's the, uh, in, in, in Crane's pull of dead minions thanks to Solmir um, if she yeah. turns earlier and it's paying off he's got three cards off mm, of it not that bad actually two okay I I, <laughs> I didn't um, see the insight coming interesting yeah you don't often well, have no it from way. Yashraj Indeed. so I'm replying on the chat to Soti22 asking where is Norway so they fail to uh, to get a three players team sorry for that but uh, they they, uh, they didn't uh, uh, they didn't um, voilà je me rappelle pas le mot en, en anglais ils se sont pas ils se sont pas manifestés oh yeah they didn't show up they, they, they didn't, didn't have a team Okay, so we uh, we 
if you if you want to know we plan to have only 16 nations in this uh, first max league of nations but uh, with uh, the um, all the players uh, all the nations wanting to uh, be involved in the tournament and uh, we really uh, li like it um, we went on for 24 nations instead of 16 but uh, even that uh, there will there was no no way but um, and we are very uh, disappointed about that as you i guess yeah what a shame okay so this is the last ditch effort here for crane uh he has the option to try and play ivory to find something to give him more cards off of sethic or he has the plague into many minions right now uh, you know, with the giant, with Ogamenser, and maybe try to snowball with Ivory on the following turn, say that he's able to play Shield of huh. Honor, for example. The second Siphon Soul, as you said before, it will be yep. very interesting on Flesh Giant. You have to deal with this Setek uh, uh, Veil Weaver first, because... Uh... Okay, you can do that b before. You yeah. can the good news is your, your weapon is enough. Yeah. Oh, no you... hero power. Okay. But you don't eat the hero power with infernal inside. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, this is a this is blasphemy, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. But for a warlock, blasphemy is uh, the <laughs> the deal of uh, every day. Ah, oh, that's smart. <laughs> okay, that so that is very smart. Okay, okay. Like this, why not? Why not? Yeah. And do you want to eat face? Maybe not. Maybe not. You sure. you have to deal with the, the board that priest will give. Yeah, okay, it's nine damage white. worth of removal. Oh, it's so bad. Raise dead. Raise dead. Okay. It's insane. Raise dead. He's gonna have two of them. Primus. Primus. Yeah, basically. Is it, it Primus? Oh, no, no. Look at that! <laughs> Look at this! Primus! Okay, and another one. Is this going to be the game where we no. see Priest beat Warlock? I mean, look at this! All of no. the waves! No, no, There's it's nothing! Too, it's too late with fetching. No, it's not. Look look at Faley's deck. He's got Spirit Jailers, Acidic Swampoos, or I don't know, like he's got draw and removal, but he doesn't have much, right? He's got nine and, cards, four of them are fragments. Hmm. I like this uh this third Apex Predator here. Yeah? The third one. <laughs> Another Incredible. one, yeah. How many primes are we going to see this game? And a thunder, and a thunder. Oh, and he has too many, too um, two other copies of six of primes in head, in end. Hmm? I didn't see the the second one. I just, I just um, spotted the play the proto Drake. And uh, the Spirit Jailer is not uh, right on time, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit late. <laughs> but at the same time, it was not there when Faley wanted to play Jaraxxus. He, he had Jaraxxus, he had Yashraj, he had Ticketus, Militia, he had everything whenever he wanted or needed it. Yeah. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. The problem really is the amount of primes that Crane is going to be able to play mm. uh, for... I think four consecutive turns because there's going to be three and there's going to be a proto drake which is basically the same and Bailey, yeah i mean he could try to survive by just contesting the board and drawing hysteria but there is a world in which he loses right now hmm. yeah and we see we've seen that uh, this version of priest with those giants is more competitive than just the, um, this uh, warlock, this uh, control warlock. And yeah, because sometimes the giants three. are going to kill your opponent. Yeah. Right, number three. 
number three and there will be a number four and there will be a number five so it's a priest hunter as we said before yes yeah Well, the good news for Faley, though, I think, is he hasn't drawn Hysteria yet. So out of the four cards that are left, there is, look, there is Hysteria. So he's got yeah. clears, he's got damage. Chances are, you know, he finds a way not to die against Priest. Yeah, but uh, as I said before, the, um, with another Prime, another Proto Drake, and then one more prime in the deck i don't know we will deal with all the, those uh four fours uh is there uh, another crazy. another um, twisting nether maybe i don't think so maybe um let me check they do have two copies i don't know how many have been played but yeah if it's still in the deck it's gonna help a lot um it, it's basically a race right now uh, Grain is trying to win before dying to fatigue, and it, it's going to rack up very fast from now on. And this hysteria in end may deal with some some last uh, interesting card. Oh, I didn't see that come too. That coming or that come? I didn't see that come. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Crane okay. is good gamer. <laughs> Yes, I, I assume that uh, this this match will uh, will be. Oh, you don't want no. to see that now. No, that's not what you want. Okay, so you know that in the hand right now you have one spell from Sephic, and you have two minions from Raised Dead. Yeah. I guess the biggest fear right now is that the spell is an apotheosis. But there's nothing you can do about it anymore, so I guess it's just hero power pass. Yeah. Or maybe hit hit with the weapon in the face in case there is a pawn. Not sure. Hmm. Oh. What? Oh yeah. Okay, so they don't care about fatigue anymore. They just Wait, that was the last card? Okay. Okay, so right. no twisting nether. Jaraxxus. Of the so no. Legion. Okay. Interesting. End of game. Three damage. Of fatigue here. Roto is Drake is gonna be huge. Oh, yes, but uh, you can deal with the board with uh, six or prime number seven. Yeah, you have to think, it's the last minion, so... Oh, wait! Uh, so yeah, maybe you play Zigzor now, and you play Proto Drake after. But I think this has to involve a little bit of math here. Because you know you're taking 4, then 5, then 6 damage from Fatigue, and you will be dead. And you have yet to deal 22 damage to Jaraxxus in the meantime. So mm. It doesn't look that easy, right? Is it even possible? Not sure about that, but I guess you have to deal with this six six, and you're still on the board with two four, uh, yeah, two four fours, uh, a four four and a, a four three. Maybe Only... the play was just not to trade. Oh, not to trade. Hmm. I mean, he takes twelve damage over two turns, so I assume this was never the play. But now I'm not sure he gets to. Win. I don't know. It's a bit, it's a bit obscure to me right now. What's happening? You know, it's okay. the moment in the game that you have to count. So I'll let you do that. I I, I guess it's a moment um, in the game when you have to push the inferno bu button and then go face with your weapon. There's nothing more to to do because crane. Oh, he didn't eat. Why? Okay, why it now? But we, um, because of a, a taunt, as I said before. Okay, so is it a double trade? Yeah. 
I mean, you have to do... But he can, can he win the, the race of the fatty? He cannot. I don't think he can. Like, I, I know I suck at counting, but 5 damage and then hmm. 6 damage? Looks maybe, impossible. Maybe now it's trade? Uh, no, face with this 8-8, eight, eight, then hysteria? Yeah, and then you play um, Samuro um, and you hear power as well. Yeah, I like it because but, you you uh, deal the eight damage face and you. Uh, it's, it's lethal anyways, right? Like failure attacks with his weapon and then it's over. How many uh, fatigue? Six. Eight. Okay. So that's nine okay. damage. Yeah. Okay. So it was so close, so close. It was really, really interesting game. So it's one, the, it's, it's almost uh, 10 p.m. at, and now it's one, oh. <laughs> yeah, it lasted way longer than it should have, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to the Zigzor Primes that gave us quite a good yes, spectacle. Yes, it was though. really interesting, those Primes. One, oh, for Czech Republic, and we won't see this priest anymore, because, but uh, it was um, really uh, well, um, Played from Denmark and Crane, Sui Sui Sui. Uh, okay, where is it? Um, is here the beaten decks? So not this one. This one. Okay. So, so now Denmark now. has to win. Yeah, they have to win two games in a row with a mage deck that yeah. features no deck of lunacy. It's Gabby's deck from the Master Store, and I think a few other people's deck as well. Um, they have one shooting star, no deck of lunacy, so it's a bit more well suited. Yeah, it's better suited to fight against aggro decks, for example. Um, mm. You don't really care about the extra removal against warlock, really. Uh, deck of lunacy sometimes can be useful in the matchup, but I feel like, and I, I believe Nalgidan disagrees with this, but I feel like you have enough natural damage in the deck mm. to get there most of the time. We'll see yeah. about that. And uh, as I uh, I started to uh, to say before, in the Group D, so Ukraine and Germany will go to the top eight playoffs, and um, Germany with uh, be quite a player of ours, uh, and Croatia has been eliminated because of the tiebreakers, uh, but they were a four-one. Uh, on this uh, Max League of Nations. That's really, really good um, uh, result. So what is it? Okay, that's okay. Is there any, anyone is talking to me? Anyone was talking to me on Discord? Oh, did it. <laughs> is there anyone? So I guess it's um, just someone that uh, registered for the... Okay, okay, no problem. So in the, uh, Group C, no. Group C. Want to see the Group C, please? Okay, here it is. Uh, in Group C, from for now, we just have the United Kingdom um, that uh, has been qualified because uh, the uh, no uh, no nation played the round five yet. In Group B, we've just seen that um, uh, Sweden beat France. Uh, uh, on the score of 2 1, and uh, Sweden is qualified on the, the, the global score on 4 1. So, Sweden, Sweden, uh, that's it. That, uh, that's Sweden, it. yeah. Okay. Sweden uh, will be uh, in the top eight with uh, Orange, uh, Zeni, and Boston. And uh, France have to wait for the result of Finland and Poland. And Belgium too, because Finland, Poland, and Poland as uh, are two two now, and France uh, three two. Okay, uh, and in I group have a question, yeah, uh, is there a world in which France losing against? Um, I mean, basically, is there a world in which France does not make it to playoffs from now on? Uh, okay, just a second. I'm seeing is doing battle with a friend. The... Wait, what? Okay. Okay, so I have to leave the this oh, yes, mother motherfucking uh, spectator mode. <laughs> and to get okay, back we got to... tricked. <laughs> okay. They trapped oh. us. Okay, so uh, I just leave. 
Austin, so white nut, and I'm oh, you got kicked out. What a shame. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I guess love the Austin game. likes me more. <laughs> okay, thank the single rate. Okay, so I'm in. I'm um, gonna be a free win. Okay, okay. Oh, with everyone, but I'm still hyped to play in the Max Open Cup seven. Great. Oh, wait. Uh, great. Great. Screen. Oh, I have to restart the game. Jeez. To... Okay. Here we are back. So, we will have finally, maybe. Yes, do a button with a friend. I can eat the yellow eye. Purring. Okay, cooking popcorn. Okay, here we are. We are. We already are on turn uh, four. <laughs> oh, Why that not? went fast. Yeah. Okay, and uh, on match uh, side, we have this uh, egg win, the Guardian on four. Interesting. Or the Apexis Blast. Maybe uh, just uh, this um, egg win here. Uh, you know, it's soon going to be turn five, so you have to play around possible Void Drinkers coming for uh, Faley. I like the Smear Entity a lot because it contests it the best way possible. Okay. We didn't uh, and, see... Yeah, yeah we, we haven't seen if uh, there is a Fragment Souls. There are Fragment Souls. Yeah, uh, currently there are. Um, yeah, yeah. As the Warlock, you never expect Mirror Entity. Turns out there are going to play around it. Okay. And they can reward it. <laughs> Glorious and terrible. So, is there any um, shadow spell spells on mage? I guess no. 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 Arcan. Arcan. Arcan? Yeah. Arcan spells. Arcane. Arcane. Okay. Uh, ice and fire, but uh, no more. And Apex's Blast is not um, a specific. Uh, uh, magic spell. It's a neutral spell. Yeah, for some reason it does something, but you know it has no specific color type element to it. I guess they were not exactly sure what they wanted. They knew it's magic, and that was enough. <laughs> magic is enough for for warlock, uh, for yeah. um, for mage. Absolutely. How many primes Ooh. has been here so far? I cannot um, reply to, to this because uh, you are 10 minutes in the past for, for us. Because uh, Canapesh and I are like uh, Doc and Marty. We are in the future, you know. Uh, I am Marty and he's Doc because of his hair. Uh, and <laughs> I'm just going to suggest the opposite because of your age, but fair oh, enough. Oh, okay. If you, <laughs> if you go on like this, I'm talking about your dog. So be, be yeah. very careful. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. We'll leave it at that. Um, wait, I, did they play Encanter's Flow on turn two? Because I think there is a lot of cards that are a lot cheaper than they should. No, we, we won't know that because of the devotos. Thank you, devs. Yeah, but we... Incriminate developers, but uh, they are not the, um, the problem here. They are the directors. Yeah, is there any reason not to draw two cards this turn? Um, I, I see Egwin would give you another draw. Yeah. So maybe that's the reason. Yeah, yeah, I guess. But that's basically a full turn, so... I don't know. They they have to know what they're doing. I guess it means they, they value being able to constantly throw damage to their opponent's face more than um, going fast in, in a certain way. Mm. Okay, so Faley now has to find a way out of this. Void Drinker is not going to help because you know by this time there must be devolving missiles in the opponent's hand. Ticketus is an 8-8, eight, eight, but I mean, you're not clearing much with it. Yeah, the hand is a very, very expensive hand right now. Maybe you can try to set yeah. up for a big militia next turn. But that's still not great. I'm not sure what he wants to do with this Void Drinker because of this uh, Ethereal Conjurer on the, on the board. 
Imagine you have to ignore it for now. Okay, so he plays it. Yeah. Okay. Because this it's... also sets them up for a draw next turn. Hmm. Rain toss is pretty good. Well, it could be Egwin devolving missiles and draw three cards this turn. Most of the times you do get rid of the taunt minion on the opponent's side. Uh, what else could that be? Hmm. What is this card? Rain toss, okay. From side. Okay, devolving missiles, yeah. Missiles or missiles. Oh! Oh jeez, wait, I said Night, he could Night do Sh missile, draw and egg win, but I can't I can't count up to six apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Why oh am it's I so cuckoo bad? time! Cuckoo time! Just uh, when the fireball has been hit, it's a, it's a sign. I guess. It's a sign of something. We don't know of what, but in <laughs> Max's mind it's very clear. Don't worry guys, we're on to something. <laughs> Um, I guess it's um, Malicia to uh, to ensure the ticketers soon. Mm, I like that. It, there's probably not going to be a better time to do it than now. Um, you know you're susceptible to a good flame strike next turn, but there's mm. only one, I think, in Crane Stack. I'm and I mean, I, I think one of them has two copies, but I'm not sure exactly who it is. Yeah, it's Crane. Crane only has one copy of Flame Strike, so sometimes it just sticks. Sometimes you just wasted your opponent's turn and saved yourself a bit of health from mm. clearing the main. It's usually a good, good turn anyway. And here comes the one and only. Wait, it's either Ticketus or Order this turn, actually, because... You could say that drawing is going to be more important than playing Ticketus. Turns out, no. They want to play Ticketus and they're going to draw later on. Maybe. Oh, this puts this one is good. more stats on the board. This yeah. one is not bad. It's not a... Mask is a problem. No. Okay, not that bad. Oh, do you, want... yeah, you have to, uh, to go on drawing, but only if eight cards left in the deck. Why your opponent has 19 cards in his deck. Yeah, I mean, you do have a lot of damage, though. And, you know, part of it is going to come from Egwin. Um, you've got two more damage on the Ruined Orb, which could lead to a freeze or removal option for Ticketus if you want oh. it. That's like oh. a devolving missiles, actually. It's, yeah, it's not the, the, the best uh, three uh, three dope. Yeah. Okay, Going another, another draw. draw. Okay, mm -hmm. um, but um, if it's not now for Crane, the first BO will be for uh, Czech Republic with uh, Fidey uh, having one point already. So yeah, but as you guess. can see, he's assembling damage right now. Uh, yeah. He's got 12 from the mask. I mean, at least 10 from the mask, 6 from the fireball. He's not going to have more bell damage from Egwin because, of course, there's no minion in his deck. Mm. Uh, unless he shuffled a prime and we didn't notice it because we were not here in the early game. Uh, though I, I doubt it because I think we, we've seen a minion out of the Apex's Blast. But yeah, some damage is left. And sometimes that's enough. Although I, I kind of mm. doubt it. So maybe Nalgidon was right. Okay, let's draw on Warlock side two. Twisting Nether. Quite, uh, quite uh, beautiful in uh, Golden. Okay. It is. And it's free! Yes. <laughs> free Golden cards. Ooh, like that. Um, is it uh, Siphon Soul on the 8 a On the 5-5? Uh, five five? No. It's a trade. Yeah. It's a trade. What a good timing for a second copy of Encanto's Flow. 
I mean, that's what's yeah. left in the deck, you know, no complaints, but that's just and a funny thing. This 7, 8, now that you can play this only left version of Mask of Cthune, is not really a good um, a good news for Crane. So, so sweet. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know Alf Evil, as we said. Alf Evil, yeah. Half Evil Crane. Um... I think the last cards in the deck must be Combustion and maybe Fireball or Bex's Blast. No, Bex's Blast is in the hand, so it's got to be a Fireball. And okay. yeah, he's going to have to find 20 damage at least. Okay. Has to play the Mask. Try to get rid of it. Okay. So it can deal with this. Yeah, with this uh, Void Drinker here? Suppose, yeah. Oh, it's face. Okay. Oh, wait, yeah, I think they have... Um, what is it? Shooting Star left. No, uh, we've seen so it. One, uh, one copy of it has been discarded by uh, Chikata Kratos. Okay, so now there's none left. Alright. Man, if someone told me... That mage actually sometimes loses against Warlock. I would have been surprised. It's a matchup I haven't seen that much, but look. Yes. 17 health is a lot. And fireball, okay. Uh, by discarding uh, a fire, one fireball and one mask of tomb, the, um, less the damage in the, in the deck. Okay, there is Rintus. Two version of Runtus. We have six and here uh, it's eleven. Yeah, there is really nothing oh, you can do. It's this is gonna be oh for Fidey. Yeah, two Warlock oh. looking good. Okay, so now we'll have the second BO just uh, okay, just a second. I'm dealing with the scores right now. And everything you know uh, to uh, to go. Okay, just no more between decks. Um, the bands uh, on the match two and here. Okay, so uh, here we are between the two bo's. The first bo's, the first bo, have been. Uh, Oh, one by not the, this guy. So what is it? No, it's Bailey from yes, yes, Czech yes. Republic. Yeah, it's result, result and winner. Yes, here yeah. and loser here. Yeah. Okay, so just let me check my Discord to see. No, no. Uh, let me check the cams and here we are. So finally. Removing and then we have now a new a new BO between Urge at uh, who will be at the top of the screen and Novice. I'm gonna put their names. Well, I have two Urge and Novice. Okay. Um, who's top? Who's bottom? Um, it will be Novice at the bottom of the screen and Urge at the top. But first. Just a word, one more word for the new commerce uh, for the Max Open Cup 7, the seventh edition of our uh, tournament open to everyone. You just have to check the, the link, um, the link here. This is uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Just a second. I guess it's not the, the, good, uh, the good thing displayed here. Maybe is it? Okay, Maybe. we'll take it. Uh, the um, the link here is uh, in the in the chat. Uh, exclamation point, exclamation mark. Sorry, tournament to get the link to have all the information uh, to uh, register uh, on the battlefly. You just have to be or to uh, to get a subscriber for this Max TV. 
Uh, and uh, you have the opportunity to fight with great players from all around the world. We have many grandmasters involved, many great players, uh, Orange, uh, Donkey, uh, Yala, Gabi, Warma, Aerok, uh, Xblaze, that forgot uh, many uh, great uh, uh, girl players uh, and uh, May, uh, many other that I'm forgetting right now. So don't hesitate uh, and check the um, check the link tinyurl.com uh, max open cup. Okay, so now we are just uh, checking the lineups here, starting with not this one. Oj, do you say Oj? Oh, uh, you said Oi. I say Oi. Yeah, I, Hoy. I'm not sure, but I, I think I, I would like, say Oi. Sure. I like Oi. Oi. Okay for yeah. okay for Oi. So um, as we said before, there will be no rogue tonight because every rogue has been banned. Uh, is um, is it uh, every rogue has been or have been because there are many? Has. As okay, Be because it's every uh, every occurrence of rogue. Okay, so every yeah. rogue has been banned. Uh, there is a priest, the priest that uh, we've uh, managed to see uh, before with the giants, uh, the spell mage on the Danish side, and then on the, tell me if you want to, uh, to tell something about uh, the lineups, uh, and on the uh, Czech side there will be the spell mage with two flame strikes uh, on, for them uh, and the warlock the um, the high charge warlock so we'll have the um, the games the second bio games right now because the players are already uh, already ready already ready okay yeah. just just a second uh, for uh, those of you who may just have arrived uh do not think that Warlock cannot lose against Priest because we've almost seen it lose with a big series of Primes, Zigzor Primes coming turn after turn, and it has been very complicated in the very late game for um, uh, the Czech Republic. And uh, on top of it, I would like to mention that this is a high-stakes match because I believe that the players are actually fighting for qualification to the playoffs tonight. Yeah, hello. So, uh, just a second because I'm uh, giving the go uh, on to the, the players to yeah. Oi right now, and then No Wis, No Wis is here. Okay. Uh, so yes, the both team are at two two right now in this uh, final uh, group stage round of this Max League of Nations, and only the two first. Um, team will be involved in the um, in the playoffs the top eight playoffs but turkey has already taken the first slot uh, in this group a and the second one will be uh, will be got by either um, denmark czech republic or greece greece uh, has not been has not played as much yet so we have to wait for their result to uh, to know after this game if uh, uh, the the winner of this confrontation between Denmark and Czech Republic will be qualified for the top eight. I guess uh, you I, I was clear. <laughs> yeah, that was very clear. We understood that right now. If you are on the side of Denmark, you're afraid of losing any game because yeah. it would be match point for Czech Republic, which would go to the playoffs, and you would not. Yeah, you have to win whatever the the Greece, uh, not the Greece, Greece does on his side. Yeah. You have to win tonight. Okay, you need to. so it's um, a rematch between uh, uh, no, against the Warlock and the Mage. So will it be the the same uh, the same um, that issue uh, the same end the same result. Is it gonna end up the same? We don't know. Ah, thanks. I didn't manage okay, to, so... to get it clear. 
Don't worry. It's Norwis against Hoy. So, different matchup than initially we've seen in, in the previous series. Uh, we saw, I think, Priest versus Warlock for the first game. Hoy chose instead to go Mage first. And even though he did not uh, have the ability to play Coin in Kenter Slow on 1, he's going to be able to do it on 2, which is <laughs> obviously suboptimal, but you know, you have to play with what you're given. <laughs> Glory! Yeah. <laughs> and he's smiling on the, on the camera. We have uh, uh, a really uh, a little uh, issue on uh, Norwich, Norwich camera, but okay, it's it's cool right now. Self fragments in the deck to activate this uh, Void Drinker into turns. If yeah, friends lost, way, I think for self regardless of the best of results, it may be yes, uh, uh, Donkey, you're right. Sorry. If friends lost, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't see. So uh, I was about to say that it. I find it amusing that Norwis and uh, Feli have decided to play Warlock because I believe in the first weeks of the tournament it was only Yarla every time. And it would appear that over time, Yarla has been able to convince his teammates to go and pick the same deck, and it's proving very, very good. It's beaten Mage the game before, and it might do it again now, so... Yeah, you're right, Yarla. Why not bring Warlock? Why play Priest? <laughs> because we love Priest. And there is this map where I can give you the secret of the stairs. Did you did you uh, manage to um, to take a look on the on the replay to get the secret too? I actually looked at the replay and I saw it, but I still don't know how to do it. And I think this has to be the fourth time you're gonna do it on stream, <laughs> and I can't see it. <laughs> so you have to lit this little thing on the right. Okay, now it's lit. You. Uh, you hit the second step twice, then the first one, then the third one, and ah, uh, yeah. I like this. Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. on the number two already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Norway's deciding to be defensive and sort of aggressive by playing some board as much as he can in the early turns, choosing not to life tap as much. Uh, he understands that in this matchup, you want to stay alive through fatigue, meaning that Mage has to play every damage they have. Every damage card, I mean. And it must be not enough, right? You have to play minions to uh, put in the way of Mask of Cthulhu. You have to keep the board. You have not to let anything slide straight to your face, um, at least as much as you can. And at last, sometimes it happens exactly like it, it just did with Warlock winning the game. Okay, so, oh, Eris Talnus with his uh, at, you know, and uh, the steward of scroll and the lab partner. Okay. Okay, I, I don't know if he, if Talnus has a hat because the tracker was hiding its head from me, you know, like it was card number three on top of the head. And it was hiding. So it's still a it's mystery, a, you know? It's a transpar transparent one. Okay, I get it. I can intellect. Lap it's Lap never Lap not Lap. there. It's just transparent. Okay, this uh, shooting star we are we were waiting for in the previous game is here right now. Indeed, and Norwis is going to be able to follow up on that with a Void Drinker on curve. Yeah. And Missy chooses to draw. Okay, we have issues with uh, the Osh camera, so I'm gonna. I'll disable it right now because it's blinking like the friend list so uh, we don't want to hurt your eyes uh, okay I'm just doing okay is it okay like this no so just uh, like this voilà. okay we have a really still picture not moving at all this is quite enough Uh, and we have the uh, um, the Portuguese uh, player super fake that is uh, who is on the on the chat uh, right now um, in uh, the Max Open Cup seven. Oh, is okay. he from Portugal? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. 
Okay. We've seen a... Ah, interesting move <laughs> to be sure the Devolving Messiah hit this uh, Void Drinker, not like yeah, uh, before. I think his... yeah, that, that's what you just said basically. I think his teammate had the same situation and the Void Drinker completely dodged the missiles, so... <laughs> yeah. This time... It was pul pul Pulp Fiction um, main, you know, with um, uh, how is it name? Uh, I don't remember. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it. Out. Okay, yeah. so okay. is it uh, Lucky Soul order here to draw before drawing with um, life type? Maybe. Hmm. You could do that. With uh, hysteria on the three five, to be sure they, um, they will uh, die. It would die. Uh, it's, uh, uh, I think the problem for Nor was here is he knows that when the Phoenix wakes up, there is going to be a big mask of Cthulhu hitting his face, and he'd rather avoid it. But it seems like, yeah, he realized he doesn't have much to do against it, so he's going to have to accept the damage and find out for later in the game. It's... Oh, I don't remember that, the name. Okay. So, the the character played by uh, Samuel Jackson, you know, in Pulp Fiction. I actually haven't watched Pulp Fiction, but I know the what actor you're talking is about. That? Yeah. So we are ending the stream right now to let Kanapesh <laughs> <laughs> go to see uh, Pulp Fiction. Um, I thought I was safe, but no, you had to talk about it now. I have to tell it. I haven't watched it. No, it's so really, really, really nice. But if you didn't say um, see it yet, I guess you don't like Quarantino, Quarantino the um, uh, touch. So uh, um, I really I, like I, it. You like I it? actually like it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I don't so mind you... Tarantino at all. I'm just not that okay. much of a cinephile myself. I, I don't watch that much, that many movies. Okay, okay. I play Hearthstone usually. It's... Yeah, yeah. It's all right. <laughs> You're right. This and uh, the Ugly Dogs. Okay, as you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I haven't had what 55 years of time to to, to watch many things like like yeah. you probably. Oh, so it's nice, nice. Well done, well done. I, oh, sometimes, sometimes do you, I can be smart. Oh, you don't want this I Abbas Alura <laughs> with this spell burst <laughs> no. on, on on your uh, on your board because you don't I, want uh, her to get a fireball. Well, you don't want her to get fireball, but you don't mind it if it pulls off Mask of Cthulhu, right? Yeah, so, you know it, it's kind of. It's a double-edged sword. Sometimes yeah, it's gonna do something great, and sometimes it's gonna fuck you up entirely. So you have to be... It's kinda like tossing, tossing a coin right now. I guess there are more... More cases... Where... More cases? Cases where... Um, she yeah, will, outcomes. She, yeah, thanks. Uh, she will be um, uh, useless by uh, eating a flame strike or something like that, or a devolving missile one you don't want to. Okay, we won't see it. Um, Sometimes it draws okay. cards too. Yeah. It's a difficult. It's dangerous. Yeah, Norway is it's in dangerous. big trouble. Yeah, it's only 16 life, 18 if you want. But he's mining. Okay, if he's mining, uh, that's okay. You uh, know, from where I'm standing, he's at 8 right now. Eight? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you are in the future. Yes, Do I am. Doc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Denmark is guaranteed if they win, while if uh, Czech Republic wins, they need Greece to lose. Say Don Kixo is um, uh, is a master of statistic, and the thing so we we totally agree. On this, okay. So Nor was here. Could I, I insist on could because it was not mandatory, but he could have played Tamsin and healed for three damage here. That would have mm -hmm. been a big losing play. Yeah. So instead, he chose to play Militia. 
exposing himself to flame strike like his teammate did uh, I think the previous game. Boy is not threatened to die this turn, so he chose not to play flame strike and instead is going to deal as much damage as he can, use the time he's got to find more damage sources, and look, this is lethal. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so it's 1-0 for Denmark in this second BO. Yeah, I think most people here would have instantly clicked Flame Strike when seeing Militia was in play. Uh, Hoy instead decided to go with the big, big play of drawing cards and killing his opponent, even though he yeah. had no guarantee. But it set up lethal in two turns in the worst case scenario. So, mm. congratulations. And this uh, Warlock won't be seen anymore uh, in this. Uh... In this match, I have to uh, to check it on the beaten deck. Um, beaten three. Okay. I like this Max League of Nations a lot, a lot. I like it. <laughs> it's Are you proud of it? Yeah, yeah, really, really. I I like seeing it. I like uh, casting it. Really, really nice. I love that. The um, the the group stage <laughs> is really interesting. With uh, where you have to uh, to deal with very few games to um, uh, to get a, uh, to reach the qualification, and uh, only one uh, bad step uh, is uh, really um, uh, put it in a difficult way. So, uh, the, you you um, we've seen that with Croatia with a four one that is not uh, uh, good enough to get qualified because the other two um, uh, two nations at at four one uh, did best uh, better than uh, than them. So I like it. Do you mean three one? Four one, four one, four one on okay. the. On the five um, five matches. Okay. Yeah, Hearthstone esports with actual stakes is usually very interesting to watch. You see, these players are all very good, and yet they have no guarantee of making it because the field is so stacked and every chance yeah. is so slim. Um, I'm actually surprised, for example, with Turkey. Which is yeah. a country I did not expect to do so well, to be honest. Um, yes. I thought they would do four probably so good, far. but 4 0 is a lot. Yeah, indeed. And, you know, we have surprises every now and then. And I'm glad that the Max League of Nations is a place where we get to have surprises like this. In the yeah, meantime, Hoy has found um, Font of Power and a second copy of Encantus Flow, meaning that his deck is not one, but two mana cheaper <laughs> from now on. Yeah, but you have to do uh, this. Uh, this end is really, really full now. Odge ones, uh, no, no Odge, but um, Ois, Ois yeah. one. <laughs> He's still going to be able to play refreshing spring water next turn and draw two, and who knows what he's going to be able to do with so many uh, reduced cards in this deck. Uh, you can see here that Norway's had to play Ring Toss uncorrupted because, I mean, Hoy, having reduced his deck by so much, is probably going to press the forward pedal a little bit. And you want to have this extra layer of defense now, not after. Chooses to get a minion. Um, Violet Teacher in Spell Mage. How interesting is that? Yeah. Why not? Why not? It has been a, a good card, but it was um, fa uh, four or five years ago in uh, rogue decks okay. and in uh, druid decks. But now you don't want to to get this. You you have this um, uh, um, another um, another card, the, the augmenter, who, uh, you know, who j invokes. Okay, who invokes uh, small minions too, but when uh, the 
the opponent is uh, casting spells and this one is not used yet uh, anymore yeah yeah d d do you see this like this is going to be a double encanter's flow game on both sides <laughs> You it it to... feels like we can see lethals come from basically anywhere at any moment. <laughs> What's you, it going to be? You have to uh, to use this card uh, when it's not enough yet. So uh, the players have already understood it well. Yeah. Okay. Apex. Okay. Okay. And then uh, brain freeze. Ah, uh, it's not the the, the best. Yeah, it's not what you want. I mean, it's resilient, but it does just three damage to no benefit. Like, it's not going to add a minion from your deck because, well, you don't play any minions. Um, if you had had a Solarian Prime, it would have been a different story. But yeah, I, I, I'm not sure about that play. Like, he could have played Encanto's Flow and possibly frozen the minion since there's no damage. Um, in his hand, it didn't really matter if, uh, I mean, ba basically he could have cleared the minion almost no matter what, because there would not, there would not have been that much stuff he could have done except for clearing. Um, I'm going for board presence right now. Okay. Instead of dealing for damage. Yeah, it didn't take the, the third uh, encounter's flow. <laughs> he didn't. Oh. Yeah, but instead he found five damage and a five drop, so no, yeah. he's good. Uh, Could clear Talon and okay. Lady Vexus. Okay. Yeah, it, it it's good because uh, you can just uh, brain freeze the, this uh, three three. Oh, and you you get to five five, so uh, it's a better better minion than uh, the one you, uh, you just killed. And see, this would have been free last turn. If he played yeah. um, Encanto's Flow, he would have still played Flame Strike. Well, I suppose with such a defensive hand, you don't really want to be greedy with your stuff because you know that at any moment, um, the three damage you leave on the board is going to be the difference between living or dying. So I guess there is a good amount of reasons to clear the Vulgin last turn. Uh, the problem is, what do you do now? Your I hand like, is reactive, and you need draw. I like uh, combustion on the five five, then hero power and uh, encounter's flow. Yeah. Uh, you, you could, yeah, you have to clear, right? Yeah. Yes. You can. You you cannot take a five damage per, per turn, but you can True. use this uh, rune orb too. Oh. So there is no encounter flow. Uh, On the flower is good. Poro, yeah, yeah. But not now. Okay. Okay. I like it. Uh, he doesn't like his um his turn noise on the camera. I yeah. guess. Uh, he, um, but uh, he did uh, the the best he uh, he could with his end. Yeah. What can you do? Like you've got flame strike and combustion as a mage against a mage that has no minions. So. It's not really the the turn, I think. It's really the hand. Uh, Font of Power is going to give him the extra bit of fuel he needs to try and keep up with Hoy's Rhythm. Or, I mean, if there is a window of opportunity that lets him do it, it might be via Font of Power. Um, Ring Toss could be a problem because Counterspell is a card that exists right now. And you have Counterspell and the Portal on Hoy's side. So. Oh, interesting. Not looking mm. good. I guess you you want to encounter slow in this uh, potential uh, counter spell. Do you want minions or do you want reductions? Uh, I want minions. I think so. Yeah. So he's gonna bait the secret. Hopefully, get to clear the four drop that comes out of it. He is going to be able to do it. So you know, nothing played yet. Still at 25, there's no mask in Hoy's hand, so there's no big punish. The Pax's Blast yeah, is a problem, to... though. Hoy is uh, ahead. We know that because of the, the end and uh, more damage, more interesting cards. Oh, <laughs> he, wants, he, wa he wants to, uh, to uh, show off. Show off or show up? 
this uh, Thailand for drink? What do you say that? Uh, what do you want to say? Il veut se ah, it, yeah, it wants to show up. <laughs> Twice uh, in um, the same game, the same uh, mage game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, what secrets do we have here? Another counter spell? Yeah. And another portal. Okay. Going for the draws. Oh, not the, the best uh, for drop. Yeah. Hmm. Six damage is a ton in a spot like this one because you know Hoy yeah. has been nice with him. You know, he hasn't played Mask or anything like it. But at any moment it can happen. It would and it would be the very end of this game almost. Yes. But because uh, if you tells if you don't deal with this uh three three with the fireball, you take uh you take six only for the from the board in the next round and it's a lot a lot yeah it's a ton okay and yeah, now this six damage won't be for uh oil face so it will be uh, really difficult uh, for no no way to uh, to win this game now i guess and maybe this second bo will be uh won really uh, uh really fast by uh Urge and uh, denmark to see that yeah, it might be the case because he's got so much stuff that he's able to do in this turn and the next couple of turns as well. <laughs> he has a kingly choice here with the Bex's Blast or the Spring Water. Uh, I think if you're him right now, you kind of want to have the mask, but Apexus is so good. Yeah. Okay. He took the, the draw and um, he ate uh, the Modrish Fire Eye. That um, that you won't be able to uh, to activate uh, for a long time because um, on ten damage uh, from hero power to uh, to deal there is, there are uh, still uh, ten damage left to do. Yeah, that's a lot. Ten turns worth of just pinging. Okay. In such a fast matchup. So, so the the second flame strike has been useful, but it, it won't um, it won't uh, let you win the game, I guess. Yeah, he he's basically making space on Hoy's board so he can play more stuff <laughs> instead. That's basically what is happening. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we've got the mask of Cthulhu. We've got every fireball in the deck. I think there is an Apexus Blast remaining. No, this is just a vision of of my own fantasy. But still, I mean, look, that's lethal again. Okay, yes, it's already already done. It's two. Uh, no, yeah, it's two zero in this uh, second bio. So now we have a global score of one one in this confrontation. Uh, just a second, I'm gonna uh, change it. Okay, it's 1-1. One, one. Uh, then, um, we're here. Uh, so, Oj, Oi, Oi, Oi managed to win the second BO when uh, his opponent, Norwis, uh, lost it because uh, they couldn't uh, win it all. Uh, okay, and we'll have now Fury Hunter, Fury Hunter, and uh, Yala, Yala, just Vice uh, World Champion, that's it. Okay, it's we'll have a really, <laughs> really interesting uh, third bio right now, just uh, checking uh, the um, the lineups we are, we are, we already seen it. I'm gonna give uh, the go uh, uh, to the players. Okay, so we won't see uh, him again. Remove. We have furry enter here, and I have no uh, no yala. Uh, furry enter. You have to be there. Okay, just a second. Um, I'm gonna have yala. Here. Yala, where are you? Yala making a deck. It's not uh, it's not the time. I 
may you uh, join the video link uh, um, I sent on Discord, please, so we can see you. Yala. So I'm making uh, some technical uh, stuffs uh, right now. So just a second, guys. Um, okay, we have Fairy Hunter here. Uh, okay, with a really long nickname, I have to okay to shrink. Okay, it's, uh, it's okay for him. Now for the bands, we have the bands of uh, three. Beaten is okay. Classes B or three. Okay. Here is Fairy Hunter. Okay, deal like that. Not uh, having uh, Yala on cam for now, but uh, soon, I assume. Okay, okay, for now we'll be like this and like this. Okay, uh, just waiting for him a little second, but we won't give, give them the go. Um, I have to re enter here. Yeah. It's okay, you can start a good luck after the game will have a little interview on Discord if you don't mind. Okay, and now Yala. Okay, both players really sympathetic. Okay, I have them. And now we'll have Yala on cam. What is he adding here? Yes, Ninja Duo. Okay, Yala is here. And we'll have both of them. Both of them, I said. Yes, everything is okay. So now the game finally will do. That's okay. Okay. Uh, so now we have Yala at the bottom of your screen. Okay, it's not working. It's just not working already. So just try. How's this game? Okay, I'm gonna leave the um, the game. You will okay. notice, chat, that he was about to swear in French, which means he's very happy <laughs> about what's going on right now. Yeah, I was about to say la putain de Saras, but I, <laughs> <laughs> but I did not. You're glad it, you didn't. <laughs> Oof, we got close. Yeah, yeah. I, I, they don't have the, uh, such kind of things in um, in English, I guess. It's uh, it's just a uh, motherfucking uh, something, but uh, it's not that. Um, that um um how do you say it croustillant you know uh, yeah yeah it's not as crusty but th th you know <laughs> there is like a, a more polite polite version of it in english where you say oh holy mother of god you know it's yeah. it's it's I smoother it. yeah, it's less insulting uh do you see the yala um, i cannot yeah, see yala he, he's playing. Uh, okay, I cannot see. Waiting for the next game to start with the. F what the heck? I yes. have to restart uh, the game. Okay, uh, I, I just did and uh, it doesn't work. So I'm um, um, asking uh, Yala to, uh, to restart. Um, may you restart the game? Impossible to spectate you. Please. Can you spectate his opponent though? Um, no, no, okay. because um, when I start uh, spectating, cannot. Okay, <laughs> the, <laughs> the game just told me you cannot see uh, two um, uh, spectate two games at the same time. Okay, oh, how smart is that? <laughs> Okay, so it will um, it will leave and then join the the game back, and we will be able to see the game. Maybe, maybe. 
because you know so i'm gonna uh, restart once more because i can and when you can restart in Aston, you do restart in Aston. why not okay here we are once more okay just waiting at the, the door of the inn of the inn because there, there is no age yeah okay trying to enter the tavern tavern you, you prefer tavern instead of um of inn uh, yeah because you know the, the the guy says the tavern is always open so it's gotta work it's working it's working it's so almost the cook time in the quarter <laughs> And it's, it's working. working for me too. It's a sign. <laughs> yep. I like it. Uh, so, furry hunter at the top. And we have a priest. We like the priest. Okay. You like the priest. <laughs> <laughs> and already, uh, no, one more time, um, we can spectate the game at the, the beginning. Uh, so, on turn four, <laughs> everything is okay. So, yeah. That's because there is a little bit of a game that we have for you, chat, which is you have to correctly guess whatever happened in the first three turns, and the winner gets a reward, which is having won. That's a great reward, by the way. Yeah. Um, okay. Did we hit Brightwing again? No, we don't have Brightwing. What a shame. Okay. Okay, so if you were not here in the beginning of the stream, um, you may not know that the first game that we've casted was Warlock versus Priest, and the Priest managed to find Brightwing off of Draconic Studies, which gave him uh, Zigzor Prime, which was then resurrected with Raised Dead multiple times, offering waves and waves and waves of minion in the late game. Now, the thing is... Without this, we have no idea how um, Crane would have been able to win the matchup, which, by the way, he did not. Um, and Fury Hunter does not have Brightwing, so it's going to be tough. It's a fight between uh, one threes here. There is uh, one uh, demon versus two, two beasts, two scorpions. <laughs> Who would win? Depends. Uh, it's <laughs> either the two beasts because they're two against one, yeah. or it's and demon it was... versus beast because you know what's a scorpion or two scorpions gonna do against a demon? Demon, you know? yeah, yeah. And demon uh, led by um, by Cthun, um, Cthun, and yeah. waiting for player to reconnect. But there will be a patch tomorrow. Tomorrow. And, yeah. may, and may, it's going to fix absolutely nothing. <laughs> I was about to say everything. Uh, I don't know which one is uh, the funnier, funniest. Yeah, but see, this is the problem. You keep saying it's going to solve stuff, so it never does. So this time around, <laughs> say it's not going to solve anything. This way, yeah. maybe we have a chance. Yeah, I like it. You know, it's the basics of Hearthstone. You have to understand how statistics work, <laughs> right? And I tell you, this is the one. Yeah, yeah, the the odes. So I like this um, augment so here on five. What about that? It doesn't look bad. Uh, there's no easy removal for it just yet. Uh, but don't you want to play Draconic Studies? Hmm. I think I kind of want to see Draconic Studies here because but A, Brightwing, B, what a, Proto what Drake do? play. Sorry? Yeah, but what uh, what uh, what do you do uh, after this with 4 mana? I don't know, but on the following turn, I want to play Coin Proto Drake. But you're still in the future, Doc. <laughs> yeah, there is the, the present. And yeah, the present yeah, is you have to think about the future. <laughs> Like, you know, we have basically 15 minutes of wait until something happens before we can talk about the late game where everything <laughs> is going to happen. So, you know, why not set it up just yet? 
Let, let's try to make it okay. interesting before the late game. Okay. I see the point. I have to tell you everything, Marty. <laughs> Thanks for that. I'm not that Except that I was not your <laughs> Marty. What a shame. Um... Okay, so what's your plan here as the Warlock until you get to play Jaraxxus? Do you want to draw? Do you want to have board presents? Or do you want to remove everything? It um, feels unless, like... Yeah. Uh, unless I have no uh, Tikatakatus here in hand, I want to draw, I guess. But um, uh, is it... Yeah, you can draw then a Lucky Soul Order. If you cannot hit something uh, interesting. Oh, screen. you can fill your deck with fragments because militia is going to be playable. Okay, is it a cascading disaster here? No. no. Okay. It's fragments. Uh, sounds like a little bit all in on turn seven, but at the same time, whenever Drax is. Whenever Jaraxxus is going to hit the board, I feel like Yarla is going to be in such a good spot, no matter what he draws, that it doesn't really matter if his hand is like five or six cards. But what about Fury Hunter? He has double Sethic, which could generate tons of stuff. He's got Draconic Studies in his Corripid, which do just about the same. And Skeletal Dragon! Yeah, I like the, this one. You know what yeah. this is? Yeah, it's a dragon. It's Proto Drakes over and over and over. You like the card, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's the probably the, it's probably the best way to try and beat a warlock. So, I gotta give it some hope. Okay, I that like was it. almost a Proto Drake. I like the um, the nine nine dragon dealing. Uh, um, nine damage on the board too, on a minion. Yeah, it's end, kind of at thick. The, <laughs> at the end of the, of the turn. Yeah. But Militia made a cookie out of this dragon. And Fury <laughs> Hunter has yet to find a solution because he could be afraid of Ticketus next turn. So he has to try and do something yeah. proactive. Hysteria is a good step. Okay. But all many scorpions will will be. Safe. But the it's not the same beast at um, as uh, the the first um, the first match because when we add prime uh, Zixor, Zixor, I guess yep. um, uh, twice, then the third times, four times in the first game. And now we have only uh, scorpions, and it's not the same. Um, the same walks, the same walk done by the card. Yeah, uh, Zigzor was like waves of minions and ticks of fatigue. Uh, Scorpid is more RNG value kind of removal stuff that buys you enough time and resources to maybe try and set up something good with Sethic, for example. Like, yeah. say he gets to play palm reading on a handful of spells with two Sethics. Yeah. There is a world in which he generates enough Draconic Studies, Raised Deads, um, Gifts of Luminance and whatnot, that he's going to overwhelm Yarla with value through Jaraxxus. And this has to be the plan for him right now, because what else can he do anyway? And you, you use the word overwhelm. You're so ahead <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> on English language than me. No. You're, you're, it, my, you're my god. Oh, thank you so much. You know, I had a pupil today in school who said, Hey, how do I say jouissif in English? <laughs> and when, when I was, which by the way, guys, is basically the same as orgasmic. And I, I was trying to find something I could tell him to make it easier for him without him actually saying orgasmic on a paper because I'm going to have to evaluate it. And I had to give him something like, overwhelmingly satisfying and he looked Ooh. happy <laughs> <laughs> something with uh, uh, four or five silops uh, do you say silops uh, I think you do yeah 
interesting. Oh, Void Drinker on um, mm, on the Venomous Scorpion. You don't want to, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yes, you, you, you want to. Okay. okay. Yeah, you have to get rid of it, basically, I think. Not sure. He, he had uh, nine cards in end, and uh, this uh, Drain Soul for next turn. Yeah, but, but what um, about when he draws back fire? Hmm. Okay, so now, what is it? Oh, Palm Wedding, as you uh, you called. Is it? Oh, yeah. And we actually have okay spells. Uh, apparently, he wants to do it with just one Sethic, so he's not going to have that many more spells in the hand, unless he found he finds, like, Renew, maybe? Uh, huh. I you guess have to, it's You have to... Uh, Palm reading, then uh, pour uh, ward uh, on these two, three, I guess. I think if I was the priest, I, I would have played every minion I had, and then I would have made the biggest possible Sethic turn I could to maximize the value of my Sethics and palm reading. But I feel like Fury Hunter is onto something else right now. He's trying to devil up and try to keep waves of minions he's going to be able to play turn after turn. Look at the amount of stuff in his hand. He's got a dragon. He's got two giants. Hmm. So maybe okay. that's just how you win. Interesting move here. Keeping this pen reading. I like so much the card in French with the, the name Chiromancy. I like this. Yeah, not to be mistaken with Chibromancy, which is how most no, people call it, it anyway. Not, yeah, it's not... Uh, okay. I, I didn't, uh, I haven't heard that before, so oh, yeah. thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that. Yeah, no. yeah, I think it's because people are frustrated with the card or something. <laughs> but really, okay, so Draxus really nice. gives the perfect answer to Sethic, and I think I know why he played Void Drinker. Look at those cascading disasters, they're fully corrupted now. Hmm. Yeah. We'll see. We have a Siphon Soul. Um, do they play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They play uh, two copies of uh, Siphon Soul, as we discussed uh, in the, uh, in the, at the start of, uh, of the stream. Yeah. Oh, chooses to go with the mirror. I thought Psyche Split was insane, but... Okay, there could be a plan where he plays mirror on Ticketus gets Ticketus back, somehow, and then gets even more Ticketuses. Hmm. Or maybe he's just trying to force Yala to play his removal spells, making his minions essentially not enough um, of a threat to contest his board, thanks to the mirror. He's exposing himself big time to Hysteria, though. Hmm. Okay, but there is another race there at the end. I didn't play oh, any any um, uh, giant. No. Yet. Yeah. Okay, and then this tent treasure, tent tent treasure, and thrasher. Yep. No treasure actually. There's no H after the T, so it's tent treasure. You're right. Okay, you don't want to use uh, your eye charge yet. <clears throat> Um, already, sorry, because I uh, didn't see uh, this uh, Ticatacatus out of your deck. Is it only um, a Siphon Soul on uh, the 4 6 maybe? And uh, oh. you hit the Inferno button. Okay, no, Hysteria. Hysteria. You might play Drain Soul on Seth. No, okay, it was Hysteria. I thought you played Siphon Soul. Uh, yeah, I think this is probably the play. He wants to keep his weapon. Um, I suppose it has to do with it being damaged for the mm. face when the fatigue hits. Yeah. No need to array. It's also one less card that is going to be dumped from, I mean, with Elusha, if it ever happens. So as remember, uh, as remember, like um, uh, Donkey just told us 
before if um, uh, Denmark wins tonight they are uh, um, okay. uh, ils, sont, ils sont sûrs d'aller uh, en, en playoff They are guaranteed to go to the guaranteed, playoffs. Guaranteed, for a lie like this, almost, uh, <laughs> almost as me as well that uh, Kiermansi uh, to go to the playoff. Um, but um, Czech Republic has to wait for the result of Greece, Greece versus Turkey. That will be played. Uh, I don't know when, but uh, not uh, not tonight, I guess. Maybe yeah. after the nails. The infernal button has been hit. Yep. Yeah, you have to press the button every turn. Like sometimes a six six may not look like such a huge thing, but it's not really about the one minion. It's about the amount of them that you're gonna have to deal with over and over and over. So if you press it once and it gets you know gotten rid of And then the other one gets gotten rid of. Maybe the third one's going to be the one that's yeah. problematic. Uh, so skipping play. any hero power is delaying the problem moment by a turn every time. And you paid nine to have this uh, infernal button, so you have to use it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Ooh. nice spot to uh, to use this uh, twisting nether, yeah. yeah, because it can be twisting nether and inferno. <laughs> and next time, Ticatacus, Ticatacatus, and Inferno again. And we love that. Because mm -hmm. I love, I love um, a Warlock too. And I have a question for you. Yes. Yes, it's cuckoo it's time! <laughs> it's cuckoo time. <laughs> it's cuckoo no. time. That was not your, uh, your question, maybe. No, it was not. Why is Yarla not attacking before playing Twisting Nether, in your opinion? Because of this Apotheosis number two being played, and uh, it doesn't want to uh, to get rid of this uh, uh, weapon damage in uh, something that will be uh, healed. No, but uh, oh, okay, so yeah, the weapon damage I understand, but what about the minions? He could have attacked the face before playing Twisting Nether. Why would you not do it? Uh, um, it's not. Uh, I I was talking about face, because um, when you uh, if you hit now the three damage on um, on the priest, you know that it will be uh, it will be healed uh, by apotheosis or the hero power, and so mm -hmm. you maybe just hit for once. And uh, in two turns, maybe for two, and you don't want to, to spend your um, durability, the uh, weapon yeah, durability. Yeah, this is on for it. the weapon. My question was about the minions. He had a six-six minion. Oh, and sorry he did for not that. Attack. Okay, it's for to not um, reduce the cost of the giants. Yep, and also because Xarela is a card that exists. So here, yeah, you can see Yarla two, two. is being very disciplined. He knows it's not about the damage. It's green and you can click it, but doing it is a bait. And he's not falling in the trap. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Sorry, I didn't uh, understand your, your question. Because Cuckoo uh, just hit twice now. And you know, I'm like Cinderella. <laughs> like uh, when Cuckoo <laughs> hit twice, mm, uh, I turn into a French speaker. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's like you're a corrupt card from Hearthstone. <laughs> That's it. There's the first tick, and then there's the second tick. And yes. when you're fully corrupted, sorry, when you're fully cuckooed, <laughs> something changes and you become French, only French. Yes, yes, only oh. French, you know. And uh, you uh, you already heard that with this Putain Saras thing uh, yeah. before. Yeah, glad you said it again, by the way. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. So now he's attacking. But there, are, there, um, there is uh, a lot of damage here uh, on yep. board, and yep. you have to finish uh, the the game sometimes. So now it's not that bad, I guess. I could have waited for fatigue to do the job. Yeah, too. But on the eight cards, eight cards in left, 
left in um, in this uh, opponent's deck. Mm -hmm. So maybe and Xirella top decked to finish him. Yeah, you know, I, I think what really happened is Yarla is bored. So he wants to do things with his cards, and playing Yashraj is going to give value to Ticketus, and he's going to be able to click Cascading Disaster to clear the board. So I feel like he baited Fury Hunter just for pure clicking amusement here. What about that? Um... I guess Yala is one of uh, the more most patient player I've seen. So is a pro. Is doing everything that has to be done. Mm -hmm. That's it. And uh, Donkey is um, uh, also satisfied on the on the chat with you overwhelming. <laughs> oh, is he? <laughs> yeah. I think he looked overwhelmingly satisfied without having seen how he looked. I'm convinced. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't okay, Yarla proved me wrong mm. because he didn't play Yashraj and did not benefit from the click fun I talked about. Mm. So there must have been another reason, like maybe uh, force your opponent to react to what you're doing so you mess up with their resource generation a little bit. Furenta is not that uh, not happy with his end in this situation here. We've seen Ian on cam. He's thinking. And uh, we didn't um, uh, mention it before, but the, um, the three players of each team are allowed to discuss of any, um, any place uh, together. Okay, not that bad. Is yeah, it's is. quite a big boy. Or girl, should I say. Because Zara is a yeah. girl. Yeah. It's a, it's it's a, a dragon, dragon before, but uh, okay. A dragoness. <laughs> a queen. Some would have said that every girl is a queen. Oh, so is a rat. Will, will, won't be played anymore because it has been uh, discarded. Yeah. And then. Spell the battle cry. You've got a 10 10. Yeah. You oh. have bested me, so it's 1 0 for Czech Republic in this last BO. Yep. Money time. Takes up. Okay. And we won't see this priest anymore. And it's uh, really sad because. Kenapesh love priest, as you know, and so do I. Well, for... uh, I like to joke about how I hate priests, but the thing is, right now, I actually don't mind it as much. Yeah. Um, yeah, it feels pretty good and rewarding to play with less RNG and yeah. weird stuff happening. You know, it's quite <laughs> interactive when you play the deck. When you play against it, it's different. But when you play the deck, it's actually quite good. It's interesting. Yeah, I I like it. Well, it's the with the 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 warrior. It's a king of control decks, I guess. Yeah, and warlock as your third deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warlock is yeah. more, um, uh, how we say, um, more skilled, I guess, because you have to deal with this hero power, uh, dealing uh, two damage. Uh, every True. turn, but you have yeah. some uh, some w uh, rewards by using it. So I like the uh, the class uh, very much now. It uh, it um, does not been uh, the case all the time because um, it was the one of my uh, two or three class I didn't like uh, with a rogue and uh, I guess mage. Um, but uh, so, uh, lately, uh, the two, uh, two or three uh, last years, um, I learned to uh, to love it. With uh, uh, I guess it was with um, defied card. Uh, do you remember the um, this spell? 
from Knights of the of the Frozen Kings. Yeah, it was a great removal spell. Yeah, really interesting to to play, and to play against. Yeah, it was one of those rare removal spells that was actually quite interactive to play against. Um, mm. Not like I don't know, uh, Twisting Nether, for example, which there is mm. not much you can do about. Uh, Psychic Scream was also very uninteractive, and I think the game has started again, and we can't see it. Oh, maybe you, but I cannot, uh, <laughs> because I'm still, I'm still in spectator mode, and uh, the yeah, guy is... I have the... to join again, but yeah, I, I, okay. got, I got there. Good. Okay, okay. So, Yala, where are you? Yeah. Oh, I, I will spectate a game without leaving uh, Austin. And we're Whoa. here at turn one. At turn one. Isn't it? Times. Isn't it uh, really efficient this time? It is awesome. Also, I, I want you to make a prediction now. Uh, we've seen two games of this very matchup. Yeah. One was won by the mage. The other was won by the warlock. Now, Yarla being the initiator of playing Warlock in this team mm -hmm. probably has the most uh, games on the deck. Tell me who you think is going to win this game. Mage. Okay, so I will side with Warlock <laughs> and Yarla now. Okay, it will be Mage because um, the end of Yarla is not that great yet. There is the, uh, the coin on Mage, si uh, mage side. And uh, if the mage wins, so we have a third, a third game in this bi last bio, and uh, I'd like to see that. <laughs> and now, chat, we all know I'm usually right, and he's usually wrong. So please go <laughs> exclamation mark bottom to cheer there, for Yarla there, and the there, mighty warlock. There uh, almost are only uh, exclamation mark bottoms. Now, uh, we oh. didn't say uh, um, a, a single uh, exclamation mark top, I guess, uh, from the start of the stream. So please use this comment. <laughs> I took <Yes>. time. <laughs> I, I made took it. time to make, to make this uh, uh, real. So come on. Exclamation mark top. We like Ferenter. We like Denmark. We like Oi and we like uh, Crane 343 with Alf Evil. But we like uh, Czech Republic too, uh, in fact. Okay, uh, there is uh, Astromancer Solarian here and Egwin the Guardian. The first one is powerful, but it, put, it puts <clears throat> a minion in your deck. And then uh, uh, the synergy. Uh, of uh, so many cards won't be used anymore so it has been uh, Egwin chosen by Ferenter Font of Power Font of Power No! Shogun. no! Yay! <laughs> right! <laughs> Don't Take do the that. card that doesn't do damage so Warlock can win <laughs> Now, actually, there could be a very good reason for Flamestrike, which is right now in his hand, there is no answer to Militia, and you don't want to expose yourself to a, mm. uh, s -s 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 such a threat, right? Okay. I'm buying it. Good. <laughs> okay, on 5 you will have this Apexis Blast. Okay, a nice Siphon Solo on, on Curl. Yeah, nice and easy. Didn't have to think about it for too long. Um, you see that Fury Hunter may want to try and lead to a clean 10 damage turn 7 with Mask of Cthulhu, so he has to contest the board now. And Yarla, I suspect, is probably going to play a Void Drinker and uh, Armor Vendor, or he's going to try to clear the minion, but then he has to play a minion next turn to make sure that some of the damage is not going to his face from the mask on turn seven. Okay, there there are two soul fragments in deck right now. And if he uses a uh, void drinker here, so there will be only one. And uh, the soul shallogist uh, militia 
will only uh, invoke one uh, C3 with rush. So I'm not sure. I Is it a problem no, no, in no. this matchup? No, no. It's just that um, uh, I'm not sure he, uh, he wanted to deal with the uh, 5 5 because of that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I understand. interesting combustion here. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Ship Face. the damage while it's there. Eat the food while it's hot. Same reasoning. Hmm. Okay, I guess it's Void Drinker again. And maybe a Drain Stool, the Drain Cell, and uh, Double Trade? There is the option to play Militia, so that... Um, but only one uh, one rush. Yeah, there's only one minion, but he can clear the 5-5 five five with the remaining minions on the board, and that makes sure that he can play both Militia and Void Drinker with uh, bonus effects, if I can mm, say so. Okay. If you play the Void Drinker first, there's going to be no fragments left, right? Okay. But with my um, with my play, you end the turn with a um, uh, seven eight taunt, and you end your turn with a five five. Yeah, that changes things for this turn. And we said how important it is that you've got bored because of Mask of Cthulhu. So maybe that was the best play. I don't know. But but your five five is a seven drop and is less. Uh, Okay, um, is uh, uh, let's, it's more useful on um, um, what is it? Devolving missiles. Devolving missile. You know about the Cinera thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we're past the second <laughs> cuckoo time. It's like round thirteen in yeah. Rocky. You know, I, things I'm, are looking. Uh, hard. I'm like the the gremlins too. If <laughs> if it's uh, over over eleven. And so if you're I eat on something, I, uh, <laughs> I turn into a, a French monster. Yeah, I get it. I'm not going to feed you after midnight, I promise. <laughs> okay, okay, so Fury Hunter if, um, succeeded in playing a Mask of Cthulhu last turn. Uh, that didn't work nearly as perfectly as it could have since... Not all of the Ooh. damage has, be has been sent to the face, but there's no militia on the board, so he's got time to build a bigger hand with more damage in it. Interesting and draw with this devolving missile here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he followed your advice and waited for the five drop to hit the board. Yeah, we are connected with this, with uh, Ferriento, you know. And I'm connected with Yala. This is why he's going okay, to win. Okay, yeah, you're, you're <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. You're my Okay, what is this? This 2-2? Two, two. Okay, spell damage. Uh, plus 1. Oh, mirror entity is good. Yeah, but we've seen it do good to. in this match, uh, in this confrontation between the two countries. It seems that Fury Hunter is going with the removal instead because... Well, he's got removal, but he doesn't have all the different types of removal, and I guess this gives him more polite valence, leading to more time to assemble damage. Meanwhile, Yarla has time to try and figure out a way out of this, because he's in a bad spot right now, let's face it. And after the um, the, the confrontation, uh, we'll have a, a little interview with uh, um, um, players from Czech Republic and Denmark. It will be um, Ferriente on the Denmark side and uh, Feidi for Czech Republic, the two captains. Okay. Oh, Drensel. Okay, interesting. Yeah, he knows he's dead to less things if he does it this way. Even mm. plays the six drop to be less susceptible to a big mask of Cthulhu, which we know is in Fury Hunter's hand. And okay. we haven't it, seen it... any fireball mm. this game. Yeah, I like the fireball phase into Ringtus. What do you think about that? Yes. We're connected. I yep. told you. 
I, I, I was gonna say, I think it's a good idea, because oh. it leads to a better Mask of Cthulhu in the following turns. Uh, he's probably gonna sneak a uh, Brain Freeze this turn, which is gonna help removing some of the health that's on the board right now. Mm. Three good um, secrets here. Counter spell, I guess, yes, and this one is Rigged Fair Game, mm, okay. Good idea, you know, he, okay. he wants damage, and, yeah, and, and I know that um, gonna give him a, a, a just um, um, avoid uh, damage from his opponent next turn with this play. Mm -hmm. Okay. This armor vendor is quite interesting here to counter a uh, potential uh, soul mirror. Mm -hmm. Did you say Solmir? Like the oh, priest yeah, card? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, I, I, I'm a priest player. So it's not Solmir, but Entity Miro, you know? Yeah, Mirror Entity, I get it. Uh, yeah, it plays better into it, which is probably why Fury Hunter would not have picked it if it was, if it was offered to him. Uh, by this time in the game, you know that your opponent has enough mana to bait the secret, so it's less of a problem. Mm. Okay, he's going to develop more stuff. Oh. In terms it's of um, of placement, do you think that uh, this strong man should have been in the uh, in the middle? I think it doesn't change much. Uh... Okay, it's five. But yeah, it was probably better in the middle, I'm not sure. And then... Okay, we're gonna draw everything, assemble every bit of damage we possibly can assemble. Okay. Cheap spell damage, always nice and welcome. And mm. this hand, it's full of removal, but where is the damage? At the left side of your hand, a massive tune. Yeah. Oh, I, I, you know, I, I just realized. Um, I like the fact that Yarla played um, uncorrupted Mr. Yeah. Strong, because devolving missiles is making them basically yes. more yes. powerful. But it's, it's game over. Exactly. I'm... Okay, it's one one. The last game of the night of tonight and of this <laughs> last round of the. Group stage of the Max League of Nations in this group A. Really interesting. It's now. It's now the last one. And we won't see this uh, corrupted warlock anymore. Uh, because he yep. has been beaten. Yep. Yarla has to make it with Mage twice in a row if he wants to win this match and uh, bring Czech Republic to the playoffs in the process. It's the, the mirror. Yeah, we have the coin in the um, Czech Republic side, but we have the Encanto's floor uh, in the Danish ends. And yeah, and I just realized it, it's game three, so it's just one game. It's not two in a row. It's a pure mage mirror going to decide everything. Yeah. Who's going to have Encanto's flow? Who's not going to have Encanto's flow? Uh, Let's do, go. <laughs> do we have to uh, to discuss about uh, the um, the fact that I was oh <laughs> in Canto Slow, okay the fact that uh, I was uh, really right uh, by prognosis uh, the the victory of Ferienta in the previous match or uh, don't we? I, I was just setting it up for you because I know you're going to be disappointed when Yarla wins this game. So okay, okay, yeah, and de deck of lunacy. Deck yep. of Lunacy. With is it, as well. Is it, uh, yeah, is it uh, Incantus Flow first? Oh, it is. Yeah. Because you want those Librams. You and, want those big boys. And I guess it will be Coin Deck of Lunacy next turn, maybe? <laughs> Most probably, yeah. And then he's going to draw again, again and again and again. Oh, what the fuck? What the putain de ass? I told you. I was just being nice. It will be Clown Fiesta now. 
but there is already a fireball fireball face no no i guess uh, it's uh phoenix here maybe i think you want to play the phoenix um what is it hmm, font of power interesting do you have the power. room yeah you have enough room in your hand to play that yeah you can have to think about the future turns as well like what if refreshing spring water gives you more draw mm -hmm. I, I guess you kind of want the, to be able to play the five drops as well like you have um mozaki you have Rast, you've got mm. Igwin, which are pretty good in the matchup um okay seems he cares about two drops as well so what so. is it what is baroff John is Baroff. Okay, keyword and ivory again tonight. And this imprisoned uh, observer is, uh, which is not that interesting in this matchup. Encounters flow number two. And yep. then Arcanic Telet. Nourish has been hit. I'll blow up. Oh my god, this a, li a little smile, little smile on uh, Jala's face. I mean, he's Ooh. had flow, flow, lunacy, and two copies of arcane intellect to go along. What is a better hand than this? I don't know. Oh, man. If you're a fury hunter right now, you must feel good because you're ahead on board and in hand, but you still know you've lost almost. It's got to be so frustrating. Okay, maybe next turn it will be a uh, <laughs> Yeah. Do you, do you uh, maybe already? maybe not because because the um, phoenix is uh, uh, is waking up uh, next turn, so it will be fireball maybe. And I think he's just gonna draw, right? Like Yala right now, he's just gonna draw, right? Oh. Uh, what is this? Apexis blast, maybe too early. Uh, mm -hmm. up, nourish. Do you want to draw I mean, with your Nourish or with uh, your Arcane Intellect? Maybe Nourish. I think you could go Arcane Intellect first, and then you can decide if you want to ramp or draw with Nourish. Mm, yeah. He's okay. going to draw with Intellect first. Wild oh, Grove. Okay. Oof. Oh. Perfect, uh, <laughs> perfect counter to uh, to this uh, running carvings with um, imprisoned observer. Yeah, but he's gonna above them. Wait, no. What? Uh, it, it's um, is uh, waking up uh, next turn, not this one. Yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking maybe. You know, this is something we've seen Yala do. Like when he, whenever he plays deck of fluency and he draws cards like this, that basically play tokens or Nagrin slams and stuff like that. He likes to play them as soon as he has them, and he keeps the buffs for the following turn if it sticks. And this is something I have not seen many people do. Usually what you do is you, you keep the things in your hand, and then you play yeah. them all together at the same time, so your opponent can't deal with everything. Hmm. Now, I guess he's got to have a plan, but... I don't know. Maybe he just wanted to give him some hand space. Give himself some hand space. I like this uh, Master of Tune here. Uh, but yeah. Because of the only two Earth, de uh, two damage uh, dealt to the, um, the minion. And, and the there's a lot face. of stuff in his hand. Could play Mask of Cthulhu. He could play Bex's Blast and maybe draw billions of cards. I like this one. Yeah, keep it simple. Oh, yeah. first room. <laughs> it's it's uh, it has um, a taste of finals. Yeah, I, I still don't know about this nourish. Like. Uh, I feel like having three other cards than this Nourish in your hand right now would have been great. Yeah, I but... like to, to draw now with uh, Nourish. Yeah, you would draw and play the Librium, but then you don't get rid of the Phoenix, and that, that's an issue, right? Hmm. Or maybe you don't play the Librium no, of Hope? Yeah, I guess you, you don't play it because um, you, you have to, uh, to know what you 
true first and then it's um uh, it's a school spirit into okay okay wait so, is the shrine to win in fatigue so he doesn't okay. want to draw it draw it draw later maybe okay okay I mean, maybe he's never going to draw. Like, th there's probably a plan like this where, in this matchup, if you if you draw, you could just lose against Control Spellmate or something like that. Like, they they get rid of everything you do, and then you're left without any ways to kill your opponent. That has to be the fear. I guess we could ask him after this game why he doesn't play Nourish. Yeah. I don't know if you um if you spotted that, but uh, the exclamation mark. Bottom command just hit 44 energy to Czech Republic. I guess it's uh, the um, the record on this channel. 44. I mean, the uh, stars have aligned. We've got flow, flow, lunacy. Yeah. And ooh, what is that? That is insane. Ooh. That's what it is. Oof. Holy yeah, it's re God. really interesting with this arbor up next. Mm. Yeah, Ferriento won't like it. Can tell you. Yeah, there's no flame strike in the hand, so it's not going to be easy to get rid of. Even though there's a devolving missiles, he is going to play nourish now. Okay, going to draw. Cool. More minions, that's pretty good. More Librams, that's also pretty good. Question now is, what do you do with six mana? You do uh, cycle into Arbor Up, and you have two left. So you can ping? Combustion. Yeah, this uh, is another 3-3 three, three oh, Maybe. Yeah, but maybe it... Okay, okay. Yes. Yes, that's it. Arbor up or not. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Just waiting for a potential flame strike. He's right. He's patient, I've told you. I don't patient. know. Patient. I feel like he's just... I, I don't know. Like, okay, flame strike would have been a punish, but that was the only punish. Now he can basically lose his board. I know you don't know, but that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that has to be... That has to make sense in Yarla's mind because he's got a game plan I'm not aware of, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm a I, bit skeptical. I like uh, Combustion on the, the first uh, Spirit of Vengeance here, then ping the 8-1 trade. And uh, then uh, is there a way to corrupt uh, Rintus? Oh, wait, I think I understand. He's baiting the removal, and then he's going to be able to play Librum of Hope into Petting Zoo, into Arbor Up. So it's like, you know, he's yeah. saying to Fury Hunter, okay. come on, this is something you get to chew if you want. You can use your cards and waste them, essentially, and then I'm going to show you the real stuff. I, I, I suppose this is the line he's taking. Okay, another brain freeze. Okay, school of <laughs> Gul'dan. Play or riot. Okay. <laughs> yes. And on the right side, for <laughs> two, a library of hope number seven. Uh, another oh, gave a minion plus two plus two. Okay. Look at this. He's got double arbor up. Now even flame strikes not a problem anymore. Mm, or is I guess it? It, will, it will be uh, Apexis Blast on the 4 5, yes. And yeah. then do you use a. Oh, yeah. You can use a copy of Arbor up here to give this uh, Inara Storm Crash plus 2 plus 2 plus, two plus mm. 1, sorry. I guess you could just play Totemic Might if you want to protect just Inara. I feel like right now the plan is more to. To play both arbor ups together, so you're out of range from flame strike. Hmm. So it seems he's considering it, right? Yeah, 
it's wondering <coughs> if uh, he is waiting for this flame strike. Like, but no, it's not waiting anymore. Yeah. You, you, you have to agree the fact that, like, it's... Oh, wait, I, I was... I understand. It, if he played both Arbor Ups, they would have been five health minions, like the the trains. Mm. So it would have been susceptible to Flame Strike. And the fact that there is an 8 8 and a 10 9 with a bubble means that you have two mana left to get rid of two real threats after Flame Strike if you have Flame Strike. So this is this is looking really difficult for Fury, Fury Hunter. Okay. Anytime. Do, do you think that uh, this Devolving Missile would eat? Uh, right, like the Gabby's one in the in the Masters Two Finals. Oh, I don't know because not everyone can be Gabby. But uh, what I see though is Fury Hunter shipping two Apex's blasts on minions and still mm. not taking control of the board, which is insane. Okay, it's not that bad. De uh, dealing cam uh, dealing uh, with this huge board, but there is fifty. 16 it's over right? with what uh, uh, with uh, arbor up uh, 16 with uh, four. Oh, it's i guess now it's over yeah i was gonna say with three draws from hand of golden and so much damage on the board and in your hand and um, it's yeah two two one for czech republic right now very interesting. Uh, this match was incredible. So we're gonna see if we can have uh, the players uh, in um, on on Discord in interview. Uh, okay, I'm just uh, checking with them. Um, GG for the uh, games. Um, uh, is it okay to have a little interview? So, just wait for it. Okay, calling uh, you on Discord in a few seconds. Okay, just a second uh, because he left the camera. Okay, so Ferranta is here or not? Okay, Ferranta is back and uh, yeah, we don't have Yala anymore. Okay, so uh, Fidey Fidey. Okay, uh, can I call you on Discord for a little interview? Okay, and yeah, what what is he replying? Yes. Okay, so now. On Discord, in the conversation, we have Faily and we have a Furry Hunter. Here we are. Okay. Hi guys, Furry Hunter is with us now. And Faily too. How are you? <laughs> so you have the... You have webcam from the the other source, right? You don't you don't need it on Discord. Uh, sorry. You have webcam from the other source, right? You yeah, don't need yeah. to, to turn it up. Yeah. Exa exactly. Uh, I'm okay, gonna good. I'm gonna check it if I have you. Uh, yes, yes. I'm gonna add you to sin, and then just a second because yes, now you're here, and uh, we're gonna see. Free enter as well. Okay, thanks. Uh, a great GG for the games and for the world confrontation. It was amazing to see and uh, to see those um, uh, the those matchups between warlocks and mage, between the the priest and warlocks, uh, which have uh, uh, different uh, different endings sometimes. And to finish with this uh, mage mirror was very uh, very interesting to see and uh gg to the the both uh, the both team and uh, the whole team uh, with um Fruenta oi and um, uh, crane 33 on Danish side and um Fidey Yala 
and uh, uh, sorry, I forgot the Nor Norwis uh, on uh, Czech side. Uh, so um, finally, uh, you you won this uh, this confrontation. You had to to win to to hope. Uh, qualify, get qualified for the top eight playoffs. Uh, we have to wait for the the Greece uh, result before um, having the 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 wall the wall games played and uh, to to see uh, which uh, which nation will be qualified. What do you think about the confrontation tonight uh, versus uh, Denmark? Well, uh, Denmark is. I would say the strongest team in our group, actually. So it's kind of surprising that they went two, three. Or I don't know if "surprising" is the right word, but it's it's Hearthstone. Yeah, it happens. But I think they played they played really well today, and mostly the other days as well. I, I think so. Unfortunate for, the, for them that they're not advancing. And I think today was a very nice Hearthstone, especially the first game that was some, something super crazy with all the Zig Yes. So yeah, GG's yes. GG's to the Danish boys. Well played, guys. Yes, it was really, yeah. uh, very interesting. This, uh, <laughs> this first uh, game with uh, this untop priest. And uh, Florian, what do you think about uh, the this confrontation and with uh, the the whole uh, Max League of Nations? You played uh, for five weeks now, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, you played versus uh, Turkey versus uh, Czech Republic, uh, Greece. Uh, what do you uh, What do you think about all of that? Uh, yeah. well So today's uh, match was uh, good. Uh, like both teams played great, I think. Uh, we might have made some a few mistakes, so might have deserved the loss. But uh, yeah, I mean the whole tournament has been great. Uh, we were kind of unlucky in a lot of spots. We felt uh, we felt like we got high roll kind of a lot, but it's okay. We also didn't play perfectly, so fan of that we out. Um, but yeah, it, it has been fun. Uh, sucks to be out in in uh, round one, but yeah, it, it is what it is. Okay, can I make sure you have um, further questions? Um, okay. Yeah, I had a question for the the Czech team. Mm -hmm. um, I, I believe early in the tournament, uh, only Yarla was bringing Warlock, and well, it seems that he convinced all of you. So, what was the reasoning behind Warlock, and do you still think it was a great call? Well, uh, mostly Yarla was convincing us like every week, and we mostly disagreed. Uh, like, it, it was mostly me and Yarla just building lineups, and it was me and him agreeing or, on, or disagreeing. And this last week, uh, when we just looked at uh, Denmark's lineup from previous weeks, uh, they usually played Priest and Warrior, which we felt like Warlock is just awesome against those. And if they keep at least one of those decks, then it's going to be good. And we kind of hope that they're going to bring both again because it made sense against what we played last turn uh, or last uh, weeks. But unfortunately for us, they switched Warrior to Weapon Rogue, which was extremely good deck against us. So it worked out fine, but it wasn't the best call in the end. But we, we were hoping it's going to be a super good deck in the last uh, week. So we just decided all of us to bring it. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Um, okay, and uh, uh, about the 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 lineups, uh, we've seen in the first rounds that uh, many teams uh, brought different lineups, uh, one by um, by player, and then in the last few weeks, uh, we we'll, uh, we had the the teams playing the same lineups for every uh, player. Do you think it's the the, the best call? To uh, to finally uh, bring just one lineup for all uh, all of you, uh, maybe a fairy until this time. Uh, I mean, we all we always just brought the same lineups because we just talked about the lineups, and I think we have like a similar philosophy uh, in building lineups. Like sometimes I go a little bit crazy lineups, but um, yeah, I couldn't really convince them of that. I I didn't even try. So we we just naturally just were like. We're just bringing the same decks every every time. And and then this last week, we thought it was going to be a patch, so we didn't really talk about the lineup. I just I was just like, are these three decks okay? And they were just like, yeah, sure. That'll be a patch anyways. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. This was my, uh, my uh, other question. Uh, do you... Um, uh, 
uh, why, why are you waiting uh, for this uh, this nerf that uh, uh, should have been um, released before the game before the tonight because um, sometimes uh, every time it's a tuesday uh, because we call it the tuesday uh, tuesday's patch but uh, this time it would be tomorrow and uh, do you think it uh, it could have been cost you the the victory or the uh, uh, maybe uh, you didn't um, uh, manage to uh, update your lineup very uh, uh, very well this time not not sure about that I mean I, I would say it was still like close lineup wise uh, I, I'd be very slightly unfavored but like we could have been so after the patch too so I don't think we can blame it on that really uh, okay. it it it's okay we we brought like a, a fine lineup. We we probably we would have brought mage for sure, and and then we might have also just brought the same lineup anyways, even if we talked about it. And after the patch, yeah, no, no one knows. Like I don't know what the patch, patch, what the nerves are and stuff. But I mean, it would have been fun to play after the patch, but also like maybe not the best to play like the most important match of a tournament, uh, <laughs> like one after one hour after the patch, you know. Mm. So I, I think it was fine to play on the old patch, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's difficult to blame your lineup. Like, after all, this was decided by Flo, Lunacy Flow in the very last game of the match, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, no no, big blame, right? Also, the lineup was... I mean, it looked pretty good to me. We made one pretty big mistake, I think. Like, in the first match versus Warlock, we... Uh, I mean, yeah, we, we lost the 1 and 8 Devolving Missiles, but we should have... We should have put a minion on board on turn three or four. Uh, four. We could have played an Eggman on turn three if we went for another play on turn two. And mm -hmm. or we could have played an Apex on turn five. We went for the Mirror Entity, which was just in case they play Void Drinker. But I mean, we had it evolving anyways, I think. So mm -hmm. it was just bad. But we did. Probably. Okay, do you have uh, another, close qu series. another question, uh, can I pass? No, no, no. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, um, just... yeah? I just said GG's and uh, good luck further if you move on, Faili. Yeah, okay. GG's. Uh, so, finally, just um, a few words. Uh, we have right now a few a few uh, nations qualified for this top eight. We have Turkey from Group A. Uh, so, there will be maybe you, maybe Greece, don't know yet. Uh, there is a United Kingdom, Germany and Ukraine and maybe France. We have to check it because uh, we are waiting for another result. Uh, maybe Sweden too. Um, if you um, if you get uh, to this playoff, uh, which one of these uh, of these nations uh, seem the most um, the most powerful uh, for you, or the more uh, to to be um, to be afraid of? It depends. I would like to play against Germany because I know a lot of those players, but uh, I think France is obviously one of those big favorites. But I would like to meet them later if possible. Like I don't know what the pairings exactly would be, but. Mm. Obviously, the best finals would be Czech Republic versus France for me. Okay, okay, interesting. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for everything you uh, you made in this uh, tournament, uh, even if you are qualified or not for the um, the rest of um, of the event. It will be we, it has been very really <laughs> sorry, really interesting to uh, to have you to see you all this uh, all this week uh, competing. In this um, uh, in these confrontations, and uh, see you uh, maybe uh, next week uh, in the quarterfinals. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Thank you for the invitation and everything. Hope hope this isn't isn't the last uh, nations tournament you are into. No, no, we uh, will have a, a max league of nations two in uh, two thousand twenty two. Okay, that's perfect. Looking forward. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we're gonna take your wins then. Yeah, 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 yeah. We we want to. We want you to take it. Okay, thank you guys, and see you. Yeah, see you guys. Yeah, have a good night. Yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna. Okay, there is a uh, Kanapesh. Can you? Okay, Kanapesh is here with his camera and his air, but without his dog. Here we are. Uh, we have this uh, this man losing the, the last game and this one winning. It has been a really 
amazing confrontation, maybe the the most thrilled one uh, we've seen together. Uh, what do you think? Thrilled, thrilled. No? Oh, thrilled! Yeah, yeah, probably one of the most thrilled we've seen together, indeed. And um, really interesting to have uh, the both huge teams with uh, Furianta, Oj, Crane, Faili, Norris, and Yala, vice world champion, uh, involved. Uh, okay, we see uh, next. Um, okay, uh, the next stream on the on the Max TV. It will be tomorrow with uh, uh, the last uh, the last group stage round match casted on the on the Max TV with Switzerland versus Romania for on the Group D, I guess. Uh, and then uh, next week we'll have uh, the four uh, quarterfinals uh, broadcasted on the, the Max TV, so it will be really interesting. Uh, because you uh, you've heard the the nations involved in these quarterfinals, the top eight would be really cool. And so we know uh, we already know that the um, we'll have a new. European champion because Denmark has been beaten tonight and will be uh, able to uh, to um, to defend his title. Yeah, and we're moving closer to my initial prediction, which was that we might have the UK against France in the finals. So I hope we're going to have to. Yeah, UK uh, is. Uh... Get to see if I was right or not. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe yes. Yeah. I, I I'm not sure. I I had a prognosis. Uh myself but um, uh, we know that uh, United Kingdom was vice champion uh, vice European champion uh, versus um, Denmark so why not yeah. and uh, don't forget France uh, and Sweden too and Turkey because uh, they are 4-0 for now and maybe 5-0 in this uh, group stage so we have to deal with them yeah, Turkey is a big underdog in this tournament. It's the yeah. big surprise that we've never expected to see perform so, so, so cleanly well. And I would be happy if they could win the whole thing, actually. Yeah, we'll see that. Okay, thank you guys for being here. We're almost on the fourth hit of Cuckoo, but uh, not yet. <laughs> so I'm turning into... No Gremlin Max. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just uh, 10, mi 10 minutes ago for, from it. So uh, thank you, Kanapech, for uh, having casting this with me. And uh, see you next time, guys. See you next yeah. time. Thank you. Bye, guys.